Henda, you are now entering a space for black history. Welcome to black excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. We got a hundred and seven views! <laughs> We got a special announcement to make today, 7th of November, mm-hmm. 2020. Give it up for the one and only Saul Peluka. <laughs> so the next milestone, Saul, are you ready for this? We're trying to fill up uh, Sun Bet Arena in Pretoria Ooh. on the 15th of April. <laughs> For our 1 million subscribers what? event. 1 million! 1 million! Hey, yeah, but I'm scared about this one, so. <laughs> no, so when I see Mac and everyone and he's this maverick and this crazy human being, I'm like, I saw this at yeah. One of the producers of Lena News passed away. Oh. And um He's late. Oh. He, he, yeah? Hey, sorry. That's a horrible timing for a punch. <laughs> <laughs> Where did the date, right? You date my name? Shut up, man. Every time Saul talks, I pause him. Is that a punch? Wanted yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to charge people to use Twitter? Oh, great. Fucking, fucking brilliant. Why? Right. <laughs> so one of the coolest comedians in Africa lives in England half the time, walks around with this thing. What is the matter with you? What's wrong with you? Uh, please welcome our friend of the show, Loisa Cola. The calls, the calls, the calls, the calls. I'll tell you what, so uh, Loisa Cola will go down in podcast history for two reasons, right? Okay. Yeah. Number one. He's the first celebrity to actually advertise on the show. Take up money and get a live read on the show. So shout out to Louis. Fuck, for real. Oh, really? Oh, oh, I thought people just did that. Nah, 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 nah. Not, nah. nah, nah. nah. nah they want favors. They want us to push. Oh, no, I paid. And then I... I... Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. And you dealt with my mom, by the way. Was that your mom? Yeah. Was that an avatar of... It's a... Because that didn't... I didn't ex- when I see the avatar of the human being, I didn't think it was your mom. It doesn't it doesn't look like a person who could be Maggie's mom, unless your mom is also not aging like this. <laughs> yeah, Meg's mom looks young. Though. Oh really? Yeah. Not like in her twenties, but looks young, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. really? Yeah, she looks doesn't look old. And then the second oh, reason is Lisa Cola will go down as having one of the worst interviews on the podcast ever. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. mentioned that. I you you're never that. admit that. No, no, no. I've seen that podcast. <laughs> no, no. You mentioned it. No, you didn't miss anything, dog. <laughs> Why, 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 why? No, so, <coughs> it was it was crazy because Mac okay, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you my relationship with Mac. Mm. I know Mac when we were 50, when we were 50. I'm older than Mac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first time I met Mac, Mac was 15 years old. So we were doing the Pilmanati show. Oh shit, that's so we were doing the Pilmanati, it's 2003 or 2002. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mac, okay. I got, let me give you the full context. So, yeah. we used to write this sketch. So, we were trying to write this sketch called the Rockstar Kitty Show Kids. Mm. And the whole sketch is about, I think one of the one of the, um, the, the kids in, in your TV had a scandal. And so, we're like, yo, imagine if these kids just go around doing crazy things all the time. <laughs> like, they smoke, but when it's, when it's short time, they're like, dee 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 but in their spare time, they are crazy. Uh, right? The truth half the time. Right, but you know, people don't imagine it like that. So we're like, let's bring it to life with sketches. Mm. So they're like, okay, cool, let's do the thing. And then what happens is they're like, Lord, you write the sketch. Because it was my idea, mm-hmm. right? And then I go, okay, cool. Then we write the sketch. Then I go, you know what would be better? Let's get the actual people to play the sketch. <laughs> oh, shit. Right? Because I'm like, let's push it. Cool. I call all of them. 
All of them. No, you know the channel is not going to be happy. Mm. And, uh, only one person agreed to do this. Of course. Thing. Only one of them would agree to do the will <laughs> of the channel. Who was it? There's only one. There's only one. MacGyver. So MacGyver's like, oh. he's like, no, I'll do that thing. No, the channel said no. I don't care what the channel said. <laughs> I don't do coke. He's like, so he's like, so, so now I said, listen, Mac, we can't. We can't shoot the thing with just you as the crazy person because you will just look like a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> we need all of them for the context, right? Yeah. And then Mac was like, all right, cool, cool, I get that. Can I come just hang out there at the pyramid night? <laughs> then Mac would just come. And luckily yeah, for Mac, man. we were shooting in Park Town. Mm. So it wasn't too far from yeah, his house. Yeah, oh. So he'd come, oh. he'd chill out, he'd eat our food, <laughs> and then he'd go home. And that's the first time I met Mac. He was 15 years old. Yeah. So you went there regularly? Yeah, yeah, good vibes, man. Wow, bro. Niggas were having fun, bro. We were just having the, the most amount it looked, of fun. It, it looked like it translated. No, so when I see Mac and everyone, and he's this. Maverick and this crazy human being, I'm like, I saw this. At yeah. <laughs> I saw this. I saw this dude like rebel against a channel and go, no man, I'll do the sketch. Yeah, but they're gonna fire you. Yeah, I don't care about that. I wanna be in the sketch. He's like, and you're 15. And he's 15 years old. Oh, but but you're still not explaining why your podcast was pop, my man. <laughs> <laughs> And he's still on break. No, no, so now, <laughs> so now, we are, we, I finish um, Late Night News. It's about three years after I finished it. And I'm a, I'm, I, I don't know what was happening in my life at the time. I think I was fighting with my agent or something, something like that. Mm. My, something was not 100%. Yeah. And you'd be nagging me for it. Probably yeah. three months. And you're going through stuff, yeah. And I'm going through stuff, and then Matt comes to me. He, he comes. One, I just agree. No one's at the office. I'm there. It's just me and Mac. The office is massive. And we see Mac comes with one guy. It was his name. <laughs> tabang, tabang. And the guy is holding a boom. He's doing sound. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm looking at this thing. Camera guy. And I'm going, <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> And Mac is asking me, did you uh, smash? Did you smash? I'm going to go, oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and now my brain is not registering. Oh, no, man, this kid, what's going on with you? And so for me, what's weird about oh. people, like if you watch Lewis uh, Hamilton, yeah. he, when he was at, um, at, what was his first team? They, he, he, he But not a, Williams. Williams, yeah. Will and Williams, Williams, he said yeah. that they knew him as a kid. The people at Williams, and he said that whenever he spoke, they didn't respect him because they only saw him as a kid. Yeah. He's just that kid. Right. It's and like my older brother, yes. Yeah, so you have to do something, you have to you have to have a big gesture that that's why people, that's why most cultures have initiation. Because you're breaking away from the kid. Mm. Yeah. Mr. Slimela. Hey, Slimela, <laughs> Slimela, Slimela. Ask me Slimela. You know what I mean? <laughs> so every culture has that moment. And so for me, me and Mac hadn't had that moment. So I'd always seen Mac as a as a 15 year old. A lot. This explains and so when a he lot. comes there, I'm like, oh. this 15 year old wants to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And it's it's a totally it's a totally different thing. And my brain is not there because mm. I'm dealing with my own. And that's why. Yeah. And the people hated the episode. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm gonna I was, check it out. I, I'm, I'm watching and it. And I wasn't today. I wasn't particularly <laughs> disinterested. I think you we're fishing for stuff. And I go, I don't have enough. <laughs> yeah. I don't, like, I, like think of, um, I've been, I, I'm turning 40 this year, right? Wow. Yeah, shut up, right? shut up, man. No, man, it's just age. Calm down. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's age. Hey, some people don't make it to yeah. that age. What do you mean? Ah, yeah, kill it. And some people make it, but they're not successful. <laughs> no, they, 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 they are not focused. <laughs> now, <laughs> I, I think, to not make it to 40, I mean, really, get your life together. <laughs> We're not saying do crazy stuff, just, you know. But I'm saying, like, um, I see you've distracted me now. You distracted my thought. Mm. Initiation culturally. Culturally, you just saw him as a 15 year old. Mm. No, I've, I forgot the thought. Let's move on. Yeah. No, he was fishing uh, for he... stories. Like, yeah, fishing for stories. Yeah, yes, you, you Mac was fishing for stories. Oh, so I don't but have. You don't have. Yeah. So I have a. My career is not like I don't have. I, I have never publicly dated someone that's. You know what I mean? Mm. Or Prominent. That yeah. kind of thing. So So. My career has always been based on, oh, he's doing his work constantly. Mm -hmm. So even like recently, I was a guy. I mean, it wasn't any legal, hectic thing. It was a very minor thing. 
And he calls me. He's like, oh, I'm from this newspaper. I don't want to give them the shop. Mm. But then they said, hey, you know, this thing, is this true? I said, oh, man, yeah, it's true. And, and it, it wasn't a crazy thing. And then I just said to them, I just said to them, listen, the thing about my career, nobody cares about this. <laughs> <laughs> and swear to God, that thing was on the, like when I look at it, it's got 32 likes. What is, what was it? What's the story? I owe the bank some money. I pay the bank some money. It was, it was done, but it went to court, whatever. It, oh, one of those. Yeah, wow. one of those. It wasn't like it's a crazy thing. So yeah, I even yeah, told yeah, the guy, yeah. I said, no one, I, I said, no one cares because that's not how the people consume me. Mm. People consume me as a human being and I've always fought to be consumed by Great. It. Oh, great. Do you understand what I'm yes. saying? I always go, no, I'm a human being. Like, I, it's so crazy because I was watching the Msagi episode. It was great. And I think that's what... It's just like, yo, I'm a human. Mm. I'm like, yeah, but stop making great music and think we're going to consume music. Angelic like you're an angel. Oh. Because the people... Con it, it, it's, I mean, I'm not saying she must stop making great music. No. I'm just saying that people. once you make dope stuff, people put you in a... Pedestal. Yeah, so you, you have to fight to be human. Mm. I did a show. What, one of the producers of Lena News passed away. Oh. and um, He's late now. Yeah? Hey, sorry. That's a horrible timing for a punch. <laughs> That's when it's, you know. <laughs> hey, sorry. <laughs> so, 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 so. <laughs> Bro, sorry is at the pig and pig looking for a punch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I feel it. That's me. <laughs> this is the ice cream section. There are no parts. <laughs> <laughs> Where can I find? God doesn't care. Man. I'm talking about death. Where's the past? <laughs> <laughs> no, son. <laughs> son, you're sick man. <laughs> so I'm telling okay. checkers, you know, hey, boy, what are you looking for? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, so what happened, so what happened was, um, so I went to Cape Town and we're, we're promoting the show that we were doing. We're, we're promoting the show. And the funeral was on the side and the show was on the side. So I woke up in the morning, flew to Joburg, went to the funeral, and I came back and did the show. When I came back, it was so bizarre because I was on stage. 4,000 people at the Grand uh, Grand Rescue uh, Arena. Whoa. People are laughing. It's cool. And then midway, I just break out. For real? Yeah. Whoa. It's crazy, right? So I literally break out. I'm like, oh, my God, my friend John Vomick died today. It's really, I just buried him. It's, and I live my life, you know, cool, whatever. One day, like maybe like eight months later, I'm promoting a show. And I'm in a, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the radio stations in Cape Town. Someone calls this hey, dude from Cape Town. Hey, you I was there with one of your shows now. You were crying on stage here. I paid tickets. Why did you cry? <laughs> <laughs> Valid question. No, no, no. no. And, you know, like, and I'm like, I'm a human being. So what I realized about that is that he didn't see me as a human being. Mm. He just saw me like, what, do you understand? He mm. saw me as, I paid this ticket. And, to, and in my mind, I was like, oh, I got to fight for human beings to see me as a as a human. It's what Tineo Ranaka once said to me. She said, people, you, you never... listen to Tineo Ranaka? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What is They're friends, what man. You? They're friends. They're... I'm, you listen I'm, to your friends. I'm joking. Tineo is great. <laughs> <laughs> so she said, uh, 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 the sad thing is that you'll never experience yourself the way people experience you. Absolutely. Oh, she's, yes. She's, she's absolutely right. Mm. So, so for me, I mean... I did an interview at uh, with Dinero and so and then I, so I said to so hey, I, I cool peace. So, so so he's like, where you parked? I'm like, I'm not parked anywhere. I'm just going to walk home. He's like, where you live? I'm like, Bradford. He goes, you walking in Bradford? They're gonna rob you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's South Africa, bro. No, nah, but it was. I didn't even think of that. You put that in my mind. I didn't think of TSA, that. TSA, yeah. But I, in my mind, I was like, so you walked. Ah, uh, no, because I, I ended up having a meeting in Parkhurst. Oh, so I walked But it was Parkhurst. prepared. But I was... He knows the I was inner like, road. I was like... I, but sometimes I use my bicycle or whatever. It is what it is. It's, mm. it's, it's not... But the thing about celebrity is sometimes you do things that are not you. Mm. And, and in, in a weird way mm. that I expected of you, you know? And I go, nah, like when I go to a stadium, I want to 
be in the crowd. Mm. That's where you experience the uh, mm. texture of the game. And yeah. VIP is whack, But, but bro. you can't because if no, you're in the I crowd, they're going to award can't. you and... I can. I just tell niggas to get off me. <laughs> uh, no, security, about, just, no security, nothing. No security. So I walk, I walk in Bram every day, all day. Ask Uncle Vini, he'll tell you. <laughs> I know it's a crazy thing to say. I met Uncle, this is, I met Uncle Vini in Bram. I met Uncle Vinny one crazy night. It's Bram Fontaine. Uh. I say, it's actually, it's actually, it was the last day of. Locked uh, uh, before we went to lockdown. Like the next day, mm. we went to lock. Like remember the remember the Sunday. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a Sunday, and then on Wednesday we went locked down. I was supposed yeah. to fly to. I was supposed to fly back to London on the on the Friday, so everything got locked down. I meet Uncle mm. Vinny. It's 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 a sun. It's a Sunday, and it's a party on the roof where they usually have what's that house gig? That um, black coffee house. Deep, 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 deep in the city. Deep in the city. Mm. It's there. Whatever. I'm chilling, we're still on my colita, we're chilling, we're hanging out. This kid comes. Uh, still was like, yo, me, this kid is, is, is he, he still goes, talk for yourself. And he talks. And he, says, <laughs> he, says, he, says, he says, yo, hi, my name is Gabriel. I say, oh shit, what happened, man? We talk like, okay, cool. But he's charismatic, you can see it. This yeah. kid is, you know, he's a short of himself. Cool. We're hey, going to lockdown. What's up with you and kids, man? Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Surviving Eloise. <laughs> <laughs> Surviving. Oh, it's coming, eh? It's coming. All those scandals you said. This... No one cares about my life. Fuck, we're going to care one day. Like, ah! No, no, no. Ah, no. no. <laughs> ah! Oh, Bramfontein. Oh! I'm going to open David to find him there. He's got a bike. You know kids love bikes. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you lose the meaning. <laughs> I hate you, Mac. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Mac. <laughs> Not. <laughs> oh, Mac, bro, you just broke my heart. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I, I, I mean, so we all go into lockdown. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, it must have been a year. Yeah. And then obviously they start letting people back gradually. And I'm walking through Bram to buy bread because it's what I do. Mm-hmm. And I bump in. To this kid. I said, yo, Camelo. He's shocked. He's like, yo, OG, what's up, man? We talk, we talk, we talk, we talk. But he's rolling like, you know, like the Wu Tang clan has nothing on this kid. <laughs> <laughs> he's rolling like 20 niggas. <laughs> and he's in the front. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yo, Camelo. The friends are like, how do you know this guy? <laughs> <laughs> yo, we greet, whatever, whatever, whatever. I show love to him. But now, because um, I, where I live is right next to the National School of the Arts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So, so, so when they where they buy their their cool drinks and all those things mm-hmm. is is where I live, right? So I bump into him all the time. So I'm like, yo, come in, what's up? Then one day he's like, yo, follow me, follow me, mm-hmm. follow you, yes, nigga, follow fifteen year old my <laughs> I follow him, Uncle Vinny, whatever. Cut to about six months later. It's a Saturday morning. I'm going to buy croissants mm. in my neighborhood because this. Is Dope ass bakery in my neighborhood. We go, I'm walking. The streets are shut down. There are teenagers everywhere. I say, what the fuck's going on? And Bram is crazy because Cosato House is there. Yes. Is there. So oh. All the protests are in Bram. Yeah. Like yeah. yesterday, the VIS students were penning shit and I had to divert. Young, young toilet. So I'm like, yo, it's a Saturday. Who the fuck protests on a Saturday? Like, you must really hate your life <laughs> <laughs> to go on a protest match on a Saturday. <laughs> but it's teenagers. Who tiny they eat it? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Acting prime. Like, yeah. Then I ask, I say, hey. I, I, I ask one of the kids, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> the kids, the kids, man. I said, the kids. I said, what are the kids? I said, yo, what the fuck's going on? He says, no, Uncle Vinny is throwing a party. And I said, what? Dog, Bramontel was shut down yeah. for the whole fucking day. I mean, I went to buy uh, croissants like at 10 in the morning. Jeez. I was like, yo, who the fuck is this kid? And I said, I was like, and then I was like, oh, I saw, uh, so I'm, when I saw him, it was two episodes, three episodes ago. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, yo, this kid's done it, man. Yeah, no, no, he's gone. Yeah, he's, hey, he's gone, and he's so young, bro. Damn yeah, you, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, why did you move to London, bro, at all places? Because I hate the sun, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think, like, first of all, I'm a big football fan. Mm. The team that I really love is out there. So I get to watch them every weekend, number one. And then also I get to perform stand-up. Like, in South Africa, you can perform stand-up, but not in the spaces that I like. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I like... 
I like spaces when people come and perform. Like, like I'm not competing with, now they're making cocktails in the background and there's that machine. <laughs> you know, like, oh. What about Revue Mart yeah, to- somewhere mm. outside? No. <laughs> it would happen in cars. The comedy shows the cars. You find someone revving the car and you're busy. It's not perform. even that. Yeah, that's part of it. Like for in London, there's a there's a stand up comedy culture. So okay. the culture of it is they don't know they don't care who's there. Mm. They just want people sharing their ideas on stage. So they just come. So you you can thrive as an industry, like as a as a the arts thrive in that way because people want to see things generally. Mm. People just want to leave their house and see stuff. Mm. Here they're like, yo, who's there? Mm, What's mm, going mm, on? Mm, mm. What's uh, remember when Coffee was here? He was talking about there's like people don't curate things very in a in a cultural way. So you'll have like a hip hop DJ, a com DJ. You like, oh, oh, what kind of event is this? In that weird way, like I so we're there. They're like. Like, I, w- I once went on a date. This is so dope. We went on a date, right? You date my nigga? Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you with a woman. Have you seen him with a woman? Never. Never. Yeah, but, but I haven't seen him a lot uh, also. Yeah. It's not like I see him in his you're not, pajamas or it's, when he wakes up. Because you're not in Brom. Exactly. No, I'm not in Brom. <laughs> Listen to the kids, bro. Listen to the kids. <laughs> I'm moving to Brom. Uh, I'm fucking moving to Brom. <laughs> but Hillbro's right close, so yeah. I'll just walk with my furniture. <laughs> Every time Saul talks, I pause. I'm like, is that a pun? <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Like, is this a, is that a I, I don't want to be on the podcast. You're gonna miss it. Like, I'm the only one who's continuing talking. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that happened a lot with Tulani Way. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes, uh, oh yeah. I, yeah uh, um, who, who was that again? The, last week? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy with the eye. The, the karate guy. No, no, no. no that's the, Abdul the Kod. promoter, the guy who owns Tanzania. The karate guy. The karate guy. Who's the karate guy? That's Abdul Kod. <laughs> <laughs> That's a blue yeah. <laughs> Correct. Sensei. Sensei Koza. That's a blue. The karate guy. Everything is achieved. He's won. He's won first class. He's on the biggest movies. He's on. He's a karate guy. In my, in my brain, I'm like, the black Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> Everything I'm doing is achieved. <laughs> wax on, wax off, nigga. Wax on. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of, of this week uh, My woman was saying Because we're talking about Who's going to get uh, uh, Breakfast at Metro So she was like The guy with the lips Should get it I'm like Who's the guy with the lips And she's like Fat Joe I'm like wow Wow <laughs> wow! <laughs> Out of everything That Fat Joe has done yes, She remembers yes. him As the lips The big <laughs> lips guy oh, But he'll no. push that also So you know <laughs> yeah, that's he the thing. Yeah, he, 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 oh, You were on Fat Joe also I was a Fat Joe As a teenager Remember yeah Yeah, yeah you're in so matric, crazy yeah. I was in matric. I, you know, like when I went to Fred Joe, it was so crazy. I just finished my final paper. Whoa. I was done with school and I, and then it it was just high serendipity, whatever. But I I remember it was Corsa, second language, paper two. Huh. I will never forget it. <laughs> Finish that shit. <laughs> you know what it said? You go, Umundu Walento. <laughs> Full stop. <laughs> I was out, bro. Out at, at the time. Remember they said they had nationwide. Jumped on a nationwide um, flight. Went there. And I rec- and they were recording, like, because it was like, they were recording a bunch of episodes. So they were like, one of my episodes was just, you know, like in productions where they're like, because we want to go on holiday, we'll shoot five. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it was one of those. Yeah. I met Brenda Fassi for the first time. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, she was there on set, and I was just like, okay, she's a bit rock and roll. I don't think Was she high? I don't know. I don't think so. I was so nervous to be on TV that I didn't really know uh, to say. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But it was like, so I was telling someone this story the other day, and we're like, God damn, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> we well, you're like, you knew Brenda. I was like, <laughs> and then I started telling them, like, when I was 20, mm. I'll tell you this. That year, the 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 first season of Permanent, at 20 years old, I hosted the Metro FM Awards. Oh shit. Damn. Yeah. 20, I was 20 years old. It was at the it was at the ICC. <laughs> it was the funniest thing. Cause they booked me to to host the awards. And I go, okay, I bet. And I get there. And there was the first time I also met Sumizi. It was 2003, 2005, I remember. It was one of those years. And um Sumizi's 
full on super choreographer dude. You know? mm, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so, yes. so if, oh, if, yeah. if you've ever worked on a big production, the choreographer and the MC never leave the stage. Mm. Everyone comes in and out or whatever. They rehearse their bits and they leave. <clears throat> and I met me and Sumizu were like, oh cool, okay, cool, cool, cool. We're always talking about whatever. Yeah. And um, I remember I got there. <laughs> You won't believe who was producing it. Who? You, you know um, the dude who owns a club in Rosebank, uh, Montana, Stefan. Uh, oh, no, 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 no Stefan. Stefan. Stefan and uh, no, yeah, Stefan and him and his, I think it was brother or cousin, oh, a wow. guy called Jerome Cohen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Stefan Cohen. Jeez. So they, so we there. So they like, Lisa, what are you going to? What what are you going to talk? The French dress. Yeah, yeah, what are yeah. you going to? Uh, what can we see the material you're going to do during the evening? I said, nah. They're like, no, but we pay for you. I said, you shouldn't have paid. Like, <laughs> 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 you fucked up. But you know what? I I was I was 20 years old. <laughs> 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 You don't pay him 50% <laughs> and watch how I behave. <laughs> <laughs> so him and his, so it's, it's me and Somizi and these two two French dudes and they call him my agent at the time, uh, Lali Flesmas, and like, he's refusing to rehearse the material. <laughs> <laughs> It is crazy. We've never seen this in our life. We work all the time, but he's not re rehearsing the material. It's crazy. And I'm like, I'm not going to fucking tell you. I'll do all the links, but I'm not going to say. As a result of that, they never broadcast my stand-up. No. Oh. Because they just didn't know. Yeah. And it was so, and it was dope. But if you were in the room, you knew. Yeah. I Killed it because I because you know how it goes, yeah. They're always gonna try to stop you from oh, you can't say, say that. that, you can't say that. Cabello is going to be very upset at that, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. You're like, fuck that, fuck Cabello, I don't give a shit. So Cabello's sitting in the front, I'm dissing him, I'm dissing fucking dog Adila. Remember Adila? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean, took, I, I, even, I even remember the joke. I said, uh, you would love this because you love puns. Um, I said, I said, oh, because Cabello just went to rehab, and I'm, I can't wait till this new group. At, uh, um, uh, one of you guys has a relapse, and and you go to jail. I mean, you you do drugs, or whatever. Of course, it's gonna happen. You guys are called Adila. <laughs> <laughs> feeling myself. <laughs> Give me, I was going there. Cabello won all the awards. Oh, God. <laughs> but now I kill the show. Mm -hmm. But now everybody wants to hang. Because remember, I'm like, I just, I was, last day I was in high school. You're 20, mm -hmm. bro, yeah. I was in high school, yeah, yeah, like yeah, just yeah. now, we just shot the film and I had to show I'm not a main cast guy, but now I kill this thing. It's amazing. I'm having the, like, I'm on, I'm on cloud nine. nine. Party. I'm partying with everyone. Boom, my feel. Let my tosa. Boom, shot. We're here. It's good time. Next day, we're leaving the hotel. I'm in the car with Le Matosa. Jeez. Um, Tembi and, um, and Zola. Wow. Whoa. We're going to the airport, but we're all late, you know. But back then, I feel old. Remember, <laughs> remember, remember, remember the airport, wasn't it? Oshaga. No, no, I don't. It, shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> No, come on. Ushaka is a new airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you remember where the airport was no, before? No, no, I don't know. Guys, come on. <laughs> None of you guys know. No. This this airport, the Durban airport is is only been there less than 20 years. That it's shifts. like maybe That's... 15 years. Before it was to be closer to the city. Wow. You could oh, get wow. to the you could get to the you could get to the airport in like 20 minutes then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it moved, yeah. Yeah, so now we get to the airport, all of us, we've missed our flights. So now we're in the car and we, we're just in Durban, we're just rolling Smith Zola and, 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 and um, Lebo. Mm. But now, as, someone, as soon as they say, yo, there's a seat available, we drive to the airport. Yes. <laughs> and then we see, and then whoever jumps off, jump. but we're just cruising to Durban, whatever. Yeah, and then wow. It was like a weird thing. So I'm in the car with Lebo and then the, I think the people of the Samas were there and they wanted me to host the Samas. Wow. I'm, tw I'm 20 years old. Whoa. I, by this time, um, but they want me to host it with Unati. But I don't think we had the synergy. Mm. So what ended up happening was she hosted, remember they used to have the main show? Yes, yes, That yes. goes live? Yeah, yeah. She had more, way more live experience than me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I did the, the non-broadcast categories. Mm. Okay. Best producer. Oh, yes, Mascardi. 
<laughs> <That's good>. Costa. <laughs> no, they're on Costa. That's on Friday evening yeah. or something. This guy went straight to Mascani. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mascani, they look like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's my right thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 Mascani, they'll broadcast, but it will be like best producer, mm. best, um, you know, you know, because all the intricate stuff. Best, yes, best all, studio, best, whatever. All yeah, that, yeah, yeah. all that other stuff. But Mascani, Mascani was there. Come on. <laughs> yeah, but all the arbitrary stuff. Yes. <laughs> Don't say bad things about Devin. Yeah. Hey, haven't you learned, Chief? How? Oh. Hey. hey, Mascandi's from who? big, so hey. Mascandi. <laughs> no, man, you but go massage my guys about this. Wow, Vesa. Wow, Vesa. I don't, I don't keep up with Mascandi. Okay, sorry, wow, Vesa. Okay. Sorry, sorry Mascandi people. Yeah, hey, boy. Who's like, <laughs> 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 a chemist? Fucking hell. But you know what I mean. Don't say we are turning. You can't, you can't sing. You can't sing those things here. Bro. Why? Why? Because you have to pay for the... Don't you, Mac? Hey, man, you've been in London too long, man. Oh, oh my bad. <laughs> we're, we're off key anyway. They, were, they won't flag us. We're off key. <laughs> I don't want to be... You know, I don't want to be... Ah, uh, oh, that's crazy. All right, back to the shits, man. Back home. Jeez. Okay, yeah, let's go. Uh, everybody's talking about the reshuffle of the cabinet. Cyril Ramaphosa reshuffle. Oh, I saw that. Highlights was obviously Minister of Electricity. Yeah, yeah we've got a new oh, one. We've got a new Ramaphosa. Minister of Sports, new Minister of Public Enterprise, I think. And Mr. Sports did one fucking radio interview. He, he posted a video and says, I've hit the ground running. <laughs> this is corner. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. I've hit the ground running. Why don't you just do a fucking interview? You've done nothing. You know? yeah. Nothing for the sports, for the hit, culture. Hit the did ground one radio running. interview at Metro, I think. It was like, I'm hitting the ground running. Oh. That's Zizi God. Yeah, yeah. You know him, right? Yeah, I know yeah. Zizi. It's from yeah, Google All from the clubs and stuff, eh? It's from Google it. We just know, arrived. I don't know where he's from. Just arrived. Yes, yeah, we, we just, just arrived. arrived. We just arrived. Yeah, also from Google Edge. Hmm? Oh, upstart guy. Yeah. yeah, him, Minister of uh, Women, Disabled People and the Youth, 73 year old, Nkosasa mm. Nazuma. How do you like that? Mm. People, like, people are complaining about that. They expect it to be young. But I don't get it because then it shouldn't be a woman, should it be young and disabled to fit, to fit all the other fucking categories. You know what I mean? Why are they focus on the age only? But like she's 74, she can't be minister of the youth. Well, she's a woman, she qualifies, she ticks one box, she should be young and disabled as well. Yeah. Like That's you, my thing. You, you know? can't you, you, you can't you can't play this sport, you can't be minister of what Yes, yeah, it's like the minister can, of electricity is not an engineer. He can he can run because he he, he hit the he hit the the, oh, the ground running. Yeah, he hit the ground running. Oh yeah, running. so he qualifies minutes yeah. of sports. <laughs> Can you hit the ground running? Yes. <laughs> Sports. <laughs> That's him. You belong in sports. That's him. Yeah. yeah. Hey, bro. Did you see? Did you see the president eyeing the? Um, what's her name? The thick gogo. Oh yes, I saw yeah. that. Hey, you didn't no. see that? The thick gogo. Yeah. Well, she's a uko man, and she's thick. Though. I mean, look, these are facts. You yeah, know. Yeah. Yeah. And he tried to hide it, but he couldn't. It was too late. No, nah, it was too. He saw the movement. Was, he saw that. What saw that movement in the back there? Yeah, I missed all the stuff. You know, that's a video, so they, sh- they get sworn in, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and she's walking, obviously, to you know get sworn in, but now she's wearing a dress, and there's this movement in the back. <laughs> <laughs> the president is sitting there with a the deputy, like, hey, we try staring at us. He realized, oh fuck, I'm staring. Yeah. But it's too late by then. The camera had caught him, and that went viral. What do you think about the reshuffle? Do you even care? I don't know. I mean, I used to care about this stuff when I did late night news. Now I'm like, it's the same old stuff. Mm. Yeah, true. No, no difference, the, the really. The thing about all these problems are the only problems. Oh, are, fact check. Oh, oh fact, fact check. We've got a bell. So we've got a, we've got a bell now, and we forgot for the, about for the, the, the bell. fact checker. I'm wondering yeah. what's the bell fucking? Hey, Muna, me off. hey this is make G. <laughs> And 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 so there's no facts. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm spending <it> facts. <laughs> facts, Nana. Oh, she's gonna, no, she wants to chime in with a okay, fact. Go, go, yeah. Go. I'm just to curious. Oh man, what a soft that... soul, bro. She's like, yeah. oh, hi, but that, yeah, see, we, 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 we. you you can't work at the taxi rank. You. <laughs> <laughs> oh never. That's the case. That's the case. The money and the Two rounds of chains, girl. Kiss off. Oh, man. Can't, 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 can't do that, man. Can't do that. No opening of KFC <laughs> in the taxi. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to have to share with everybody else because the smell is too much. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, fake checker, what's up? To correct you, sir, um, the Minister of Electricity or Energy does have an engineering degree. Oh, yes, he's oh, a civil wow. engineer. Civil, wow. my bad. He's a civil engineer. And yes. And also has yes. a master's degree in public administration. Yes. Oh, she's so a perfect candidate. Yes, but you're right. He's a civil engineer. Correction, yes. I remembered that. Yeah. So now, I, I was, if he fixes yo, was, the, was, the problem, I, does he? I was did a cake. Yeah, yeah. I was did a cake. And he was, he was the mayor. Was the mayor of Pretoria? Yeah, yeah he was. Yeah, for the longest time, mayor, yes. Yeah. Cake. Yes. And it was so weird because I think it was like those Tabombeki days. Yeah. Where what's so bizarre about there was this, you know, like when they, everyone goes protocol observed. <laughs> and so as an MC, I go, yo, Please welcome the mayor and the mayor <laughs> and the, the guy comes. But the protocol is when the mayor is talking, there can't be anyone next to them. <laughs> oh. But instruction, because it was a Mercedes-Benz gig, I remember. Mm -hmm. And so me, I'm standing there like <laughs> <laughs> someone comes to me. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just blow me, dog. Cause I don't know, dog. Like I've been standing at the MC. I thought you know. told us no, you yeah. can miss you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, was and I had to, like you have to be like they had to be like you, when you when you have to like I started noticing it like when when one of the, like a minister's talking. <laughs> No one is near them. No one. Why? Do you know? Do you know? know. It's find out why. Protocol stuff. It's oh. all protocol stuff of, of the Becky era. It was crazy. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. So I remember that dude from that night. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, moving on, former ANC Gwede Mantashe exposed in a video that America is behind the bribe oh, of forcing shit. South Africa to ditch coal while in the midst of load shedding. The country is being forced to move to renewables prematurely so it can sell coal to Western countries uh, like uh, London, where you're from. I want to you're killing us there, Luisa. Dog, I, I mean, listen, I was I was bumped into Gwede at the airport. And he says to me, because I used to make, I used to do this, we used, on Legna, I used to talk about how he used to go, the way yes, he talks. Yes, and then yes, he goes, yes. Luis, man, I don't do like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Luis, every day, every day I'm there, you say, I don't do like that, I don't do like that. Right? <laughs> the Americans discuss the deal with Ramaphosa alone. I don't get that. Oh. Ghost lady, what do you think, oh. man? But remember, we have had this discussion, I think, before, and it was about that this there's a whole what can I how can I put it? It's it's almost like this controversy that's going on about the new the renewable energy that we're being introduced to, and that actually we still need to continue using coal, guys. Coal is is ours. Coal it's is king, ads. man. And we've got so you much know? coal, bro. We've got and so that's much why coal. I get import. We're like we're literally exporting, right? Yes. So I got it now the, the way to realize, oh fuck, Africa has all this coal and now they're industrializing mm. the whole land, whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh fuck, let's put rules. Like carbon emissions, yes. all these things to stifle our growth. Yeah. So it's fucked up. Especially when we're still exporting coal to fucking Germany till we're today. A whole lot and of other Western countries. Being built. It's, it's the weirdest thing ever. And why the fuck would a whole president sign off? And agree to that kind of shit. Uh, what, what do Londoners think or people in the UK about load shedding when they hear about it? Apparently it's happening to them next year. Whoa! Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. out of here! I swear, I swear. I think it's it's got to do uh, it, with Russian gas and shit like that. Yes, because Russia provides gas for yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Europe. <laughs> like, now, I mean, the, the cost of keeping... Um, your house warm in London is insane. Mm. Oh yeah, like it's like three hundred, eight hundred uh, to eight hundred pounds more to put on your space. Yeah, and there's a monopoly. British gas does that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's yo man, that this, the war in the Ukraine is gonna have a big effect on Huge impact, European right? places next year. And by the way, I don't know if it's still uh, the case, but British gas had the call centers. Yeah, I used to work at a call center as a student for Virgin uh, Mobile, oh. Richard Branson's company, and in the same building. Like literally, I could look. At the guys, British guys, they just give you a whole brochure. You read up on the company, and, and then you you, you answer calls from English people. What I were did you that. Selling, so? What else? I, I was I was what British. else have you done, Sol, on your come up? <laughs> <laughs> Everything. What I was a selling? student. What I, I was working. I was working at Virgin Active. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So people will call you. Yeah. And like they stuck some on the freeway. They want you to load them. So in England, you can load them up with airtime on the call center. They're like, I'm stuck. Whatever, whatever. They give you a sub story. Oh really? And then you put thirty pence or whatever for them to call. Yeah. 
and we, we dealt with all sorts of things. Yeah. My first, oh. you know, I, I used to work at a, at a garage, pouring gas. Oh. oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, when I was 16. It was it was weird. I used to always buy f- uh, stuff from the garage. And then what used to happen is like uh, five o'clock came, people were ending shifts and then people would be late for shifts. And then the, the lady was like, hey, can you just come while shifts are happening, changing? Mm-mm-mm. And I would just come like, let's say from four to six every day after school. So I'd finish, I'd finish school I, and I was playing sports as well and I'd come work. And then they were like, oh, actually, you're quite a responsible young man. Can you come on weekends as well? Weekends and holidays. Mm-hmm. And I'd work and I'd spend the money on Jordans and jeans, really. Oh. I mean, I was, you know, I was... Yeah, when you work in high school, Chen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you just like, I yeah. remember the first thing I bought was like, you remember those engineered jeans? Mm. Remember how dope they used to be? Mm. They stu- engineer was- jeans. Engineer. What? Small <laughs> man. Everybody in the room knows engineer jeans. No. 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 Mac knows. He no, no, doesn't know engineer jeans. jeans. He doesn't know engineer jeans. We know. He doesn't. No one. No, no, for the sake of the podcast. Yeah, for the sake of you. Co- yes, he doesn't, bro. No one knows engineer jeans. those jeans that used to, like, almost twist. They were called engineers. They oh, were engineers. I'm a genius. I, uh... <laughs> like I know, I I I I'm a tongue you man. I actually got so. You know when people you can see someone is lying. Yeah, you're no, lying so. Man, I Yo, know let's sing one. Let's sing another. Ah, man, guys, Levi's had those jeans. Wait, I tongue you. Like, like, and then I hear the song tongue on a corner, right? <laughs> But when you say they twist, they twist. That if you watch, if you have them, they sort which of brand? Twist. Which brand were they? Levi. After, uh, what did I say? <laughs> After I said it was Levi. You didn't say Levi. <laughs> you didn't say Levi, <laughs> bro. Shayla, no, you didn't say Levi, bro. Okay. You said they twist. I said I know the jeans are too <laughs> new and then um too. So <laughs> you're, you're gaslighting me, homie. You're gaslighting me. That ain't good. Let's so. play. The, if we play this back, I swear I said Levi engineer jeans. No, you didn't. Actually, I didn't. You didn't. You didn't say Levi's. You said engineer jeans. Yeah. Then I said, said oh, it's, like, it's said like saying people. Jordans. Now I have to say Nike Jordans. It's the same thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who knows jeans, if I say in- engineer jeans, you know, know it's Levi, know. bro. What are you talking about? I didn't about? know they were called engineer, but I know the jeans are talking about. I'm not fucking I, bullshitting. Also, it's my fault because now I, I expected you to know engineer jeans. <laughs> I'm a Crocs. I hear the bear. <laughs> <laughs> So I said, I'm my engineer, so I'm a cross on your <laughs> this is MacGyver's influence, by the way. The person who wore yellow Crocs first. No, we were shooting Max video, and uh, we were in Crocs there. Oh, so it was compulsory. The video shoot, yeah, music video. Oh, cute. Nice. Uh, what do you guys think about Elon Musk wanting to charge people to use Twitter? Mm. Oh, great! Fucking, fucking brilliant. Why? <laughs> look so what has happened. Look what has happened, and everybody has a fucking voice on Twitter. <laughs> Penny says something very interesting. Penny, right? He was like in school. You remember we were separated, the grades. There was the smart grade, the average grade, maybe two, yes. and the really dumb, that. corrupt oh, fucking grade yes. where they, they they drive the teacher up the fucking wall. Mm. And then in the good class, there's proper engagement. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, proper exchange of, of knowledge. theory, I'm knowledge, not. a space where education and learning thrives. And then in the Damn room that you know, whatever happens there. <laughs> now on Twitter we were left with these fucking people. You say something, they deliberately misunderstand you, just to insult you, just to pick on you, and see how it all works out. Mm. So if we make people to pay for Twitter, at least it's gonna remove the muck, the riffraff, the riffraff. A lot. I of will it. be so that I'm up for It's it. like pay, paying in the club. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. The higher the price, uh, that's when you don't want riffraff. Yeah, it's like it's, it's it's like I know if I'm going to have an event where I've, they're charging, and this is a hypothetical, not a practical one, eight clipper to enter. I know no one is gonna snatch my phone. I know no one is gonna oh, yeah. drink my alcohol. You know those girls who come with no plan, and then it's nini nini bafunu ba telele. How? That's not gonna happen if you've paid eight hundred bucks to enter. So you remove the riffraff like that. Mara charge fifty. Ah! <laughs> 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 Charge 50. 
Ti puoi! Chi vuole? Dove sei? Schizzo, 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 schizzo. Ehi, 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 Because I couldn't sleep and my electricity wasn't on and I and my brother was at a, a place in, in Rosebank and we just, you know, I went to go see, and then I went to go hang out with him and, and some mates and I just touched my, I had a pouch and then I touched it and it was gone. Mm. Yeah, that pouch. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, it was inside the pouch. So it was inside the pouch. So he showed yeah. my crop. Let me, let me show you his pouch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no. you saw one. No, you saw one. one. Coolest comedian in South Africa. Lives in England half the time. Walks around with this thing. <laughs> Are you personally? It's not a pouch. It's a purse. What is this? No, you saw that's a purse. What the fuck? That's a purse. No, you saw that's a purse. And it's got a string. And it's got a long string. I was on your side. No. I can't believe you're laughing at this shit. What is this? You deserve to get jacked up with a purse like that. And they took the fucking pouch out. We ain't taking this shit. Leave this shit. What the fuck is this shit? It's a purse. That's an old lady purse. I mean, what a what is this? You guys, wait, it's got a Sol, string. Man. It's got a string. Sol, Sol. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> I don't, I don't want you guys, I don't want you guys um, to turn my purse into the tiger in the house. <laughs> 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 Who's the nigga with the tiger? I told you that. I'm like, God. Did you see that picture? You saw that picture though, hey? Oh. <laughs> that thing was hectic, bro. <laughs> so what happened with your phone, man? Yeah, they just jacked it. I mean, it's cool. I mean, whatever. It's just a phone. So you're in the club. Who do you leave this club. pouch? It was just like a pop and shunt. I just had it on me. Shit. Oh, they took it while it was on me. Uy, Akile. And they opened it and took your phone out and closed it. I, he just landed from London, so he's thinking. I'm still like, <laughs> and, the, and that string is long, man. You know, it was thrown on the floor. <laughs> While <Wow>, hooked on him, <laughs> they were like, ah, they didn't even see who's attached to. Like, ah, nah, he's like, ah, he's here, ah, he's not here, here, here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, get rid of that shit. What a sign. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. Can okay, we move swiftly on that? Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> so you're saying, so what do you think about, would you pay for Twitter, man? Oh, gosh. Nah, I'm always looking for excuses not to be on to... <laughs> oh, yes, Pelele, yes, Pelele. Oh, yeah, what? Oh, fact check, yes, Pelele. Fact checker, fact checker. Tell you what, Uchi, it's not a pace. <laughs> That's the fact. Yeah. It's, it's a pouch. It, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a pouch. Like JK. Um, it's not to pay for using the app. The app is still free, but it's just to pay for verification. If you would like to be a verified member, you pay $20 a month. A $20 a month? Yes. For oh, two. then you get the blue tick. Yes, then you get the blue If tick. you have the blue tick, you pay for them. Yes, if you have it, you pay for it. Well, if you want it, you can. No, 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 no. no. And tick. also, I offered to have that shit, but I was just real slow on it. But it's like not a, a, a thing of urgency. So now what happens to all those parody accounts? That's the thing. Especially, especially if it's a parody of, account of someone that doesn't have Twitter. Then what happens to, 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 to those? They just pay and then they get verif verified, but they're using somebody else's Twitter. name. Or... Like people don't even show their face. There's a vetting process. So bef if you are to go onto the app currently, not to advertise it, but you will see that you have to have... Because lady, you're crying. Because lady is crying. Because lady is like, I need a verification. <laughs> no, it was because of Saul. Saul uh, sent me. <laughs> is this something that makes you cry? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said to you, I said, don't let these guys bully you, bruh. <laughs>
Nara, wherever you are, I'm sure you're a good human being. He don't is. let these guys hold you down. Hey, yeah. what are you saying about Twitter? I, I like I, I just don't. You know what I enjoy on Twitter? I just go on spaces, random spaces. Mm. And I just listen to what people are saying. Spaces, you know I mean? yeah, they're amazing. But I mean, I don't, you know, I don't really find the value. I don't find the engagement fulfilling. I don't find it. I don't find that it moves the same way as maybe Instagram or TikTok. And you started, like, when it first started popping, you were yeah, one of yeah, I've got guys. A, dude, I've got a million followers mm. on Twitter. Wow. Mm. And I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you. Twitter, <laughs> man. Hey. I was like, ugh. You know, you know what's so weird when someone is like... And half of them on, is just kids. On Twitter, someone... Go, <laughs> dog, on Twitter. The kids, man. Dog, you, 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 you like a guy... You know, a guy will go, hey, footsack when I'm so not. Then you zoom in, you go, okay. I zoom in. Oh, man, this guy lives in, in a man's crawly. <laughs> <laughs> you look at the guy's shoes, you know, oh, you know, why are we talking about each other like this? Yeah. Like, come on. Hey, oh, you just look at the rest of his tweets. That's all he says to people. So for me, it's, what's crazy sometimes is like, on what planet is it acceptable to engage people like that? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's like, yo, what? this is crazy, man. This yeah. Is... Yeah. So I don't, so I, because I used to get bullied on Twitter. Oh, big time. Oh, but did he? You used yeah, to train. Yeah. On Twitter, there's train. a Twitter standard that Luis Ocola is not funny. It, no matter how many shows he does, sold out, oh, yeah, yeah. funny as and, he is. And so, and it's so, just that Twitter thing, yeah. And so it was, it was bizarre for me because... It usually hurt my feelings. Yeah. But then I, used to, yeah, but it was, it wasn't. Then I, I had to be like, oh no, it, it's my own energy. So I had a weird energy on Twitter of just talking shit to other people, and the minute I stopped that energy, so people never take accountability to the energy they put out. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The minute I stopped that energy. That whole thing stopped because a lot of people sit at home going some 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 man some tall or whatever the case is, you know. So I I had to be like, oh, dog, you could, they could burn the studio down. Live on the podcast, mm. on Twitter, I'm not saying a damn thing. <laughs> ah. I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> because it it doesn't. But isn't... It doesn't... Because in the greater scheme... Okay, this is my... My theory is... I have a, I have a bigger theory on this. To change stuff, ne? Yeah. Requires you to go to parliament. It requires you to engage the legislation. It, 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 it requires you to engage maybe the policies or whatever. Mm. That is a lot of work. Mm. What's the easiest thing to do? To, to shout. Tweet. Just to tweet and say something. You're like, bro... This thing is, for you to really change this thing, there are people who are working tirelessly. They've been trying to change this thing for 12 years. And, and sometimes I feel like you just tweeting. It might help, but I don't think that's where the real work is. There's real people who are doing the policy work and real people who are applying themselves, and real people who are actually doing the actual work. So sometimes I'm just like, the, the thing is happening somewhere. Which tweet hurt you the most? I had a big beef with... Um, with Casper. Oh, join oh, the club. Yeah. Join the club. Yeah, I remember his line. Ah. He's like, oh, that shit ain't funny. Like, it's a color. Yeah. Oh, yeah, from, it, okay, the line is whack I, I, also, but it's, it. I don't want to, I, I don't want to comment on any rapper's looks anymore. It didn't flow bit, like proper, but, and I'm a fan, but it just. I'm going to reserve. <laughs> but he had a line of, that shit, that shit ain't funny, like, Louis so color. So I got this on the, on the, on the, but, but it was, the funny thing is, a couple of months later, I bumped into Casper at the airport. I think we both flying to London, two different airlines, and we're walking. And then I, I, I go, I go, hey man, I don't have beef with you. It's just internet shit. You understand that, right? He's like, I right, cool, cool. We shaking it, whatever. And um, he's cool. He's rolling with his with his party. I'm, I'm rolling dolo, and I'm whatever. A couple of months later, he's on a, some radio show. It's like, yo, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Casper's oh emotional though. Don't. No, no, no. I, I, I don't have beef with Casper. We, we, well, that's we, fucked up. We used bro. to play. I literally don't have beef. I generally don't have beef. Uh, it's just internet shit. Mm. And I used to be that guy on the internet who spoke shit about everybody. Mm. I haven't done that in years. I don't care. Yeah, because I think he was responding to something you had seen. I remember you said something. I had said. I had said. Oh man, I don't even remember entirely. But I think he was trying to sell out. The dome. Yeah. And then I said, Oh, you rappers don't tour like that. 
Mm, mm. It, it, it's that's. The, I think I remember you know something and I said, to do with Philip. Well, you, yeah, it started like that, and then it was like, oh fuck, these motherfuckers oh. don't believe in us, whatever. And I was like, yeah, well, rappers don't. I mean, it was still impressive, mm, mm. but it, it, initially I was like, but what's weird is like a lot of motherfuckers that I've been talking to thought the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they didn't voice it, of and, course. But what I do know now, I don't have to voice shit. Mm. I could think Saul is the worst person in the world, but I don't have to tweet that. Mm, mm, yes, mm. yes. I just yes, have to. Yes. I, I have a WhatsApp group, guys. There's my what, what camera took that one. Yeah, yeah, that's yours. That's this yours. one. Yeah. Say all your horrible things on WhatsApp groups. It's just better that way. Yeah. <laughs> Not on no, no. Yeah. But someone will expose you because that's how I always find out about oh, yeah. the racist in the neighborhood. Who, who drops a voice note. That's, you know, because yeah, they think it's a safe space that's, like you're promoting and then someone's going to snitch on you. I think there just should be a safe space where you can say all the wild stuff you want to say. Mm. My Mac is like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, the podcast. Yeah, yeah the podcast. <laughs> yeah, the podcast. The podcast. <laughs> this is that space. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Tell us more. <laughs> Coach Lady, what you got for us there, man? What you got uh, for guys, us? Did you hear about the story of um, Usomizi? Basically, their whole marriage was just, it did not, it, it was non-existent. But they had a whole special on Showmax. That's why it's like, uh, that's what I, I, I get like, oh, like, why? 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 How does that happen? So actually at the end, remember they had like a whole court thing going on with Mohale yeah. since the divorce. Mm. So obviously now I think um, uh, Somizi has to pay, literally, mm. Mohale for all his court fees. Because all the legal divorce, fees. Yeah, his, all his um, legal fees because it was non-existent. The marriage was non-existent. You know when I, <laughs> this is a funny thing. I, I remember on Valentine's Day, it was uh, so so busy. Had gotten uh, Mohali um, a gift, but you know Berita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Berita, the yeah. amazing musician with the so, acoustic guitar. So, so she was <laughs> on Valentine's Day. Was just go online and say, and Berita's performing in the car for Mohali, right? Mm. But in the car, like you know, like it, this is my Valentine's gift. But we go try, we go try and sing. <laughs> At the back of the street. Oh. I'm like, oh, this marriage is doomed. <laughs> Wait, so, so it was so Mohana funny. gets in the car, that's good to work, the... and there's a perita in his back. Yeah, and she was the gift to him. <laughs> oh, wow. I remember laughing so hard. Because, <laughs> <laughs> cause, you know, like, I do corporate, I do corporate stuff, and sometimes they put you in odd situations. <laughs> Right, the CEO. The CEO is such a great golf fan. And this is, and then he CEO enters his house and everyone's like, surprise. And then you start performing. He's like, this shit is not going <laughs> to <laughs> like, what the fuck are you thinking? But they gave you a check, so you don't give a fuck. Yeah, you just there, whatever. Yes, yes. So I thought of one of those things. I was like, hey, corporates are different. <laughs> like she was just there, back in the car, <laughs> playing the guitar, singing her lungs out. Shit. And, and Mohan is like, oh. I remember so when, 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 when like, Samisi yeah. proposed in Paris. Oh, wow, that's fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Mohan didn't even cry, not even one tear. No, but like, he nah. cried at the wedding. He did cry. At the wedding? Yeah. yeah it's a meme, even. Yeah. Him crying is a meme, right? Yeah. Because apparently... Is it, is it which one, which which meme is better? The other one, Fugati meme or the... <laughs> no, the other one. The other one, the other one is the best. That, that lands anyway. One. That one lands anyway. <laughs> ah, that one lands, bro. That meme that one's the... <laughs> 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 like my nigga, that even is the even the worst. Will Smith one. <laughs> that is the worst. <laughs> Which one? The one being interviewed on, yeah, on, on yeah, TED Talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Entanglement. Uh, yes. I've not seen that. No, no. Um, remember after the whole entanglement saga? Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh then yeah. The Red Table Talk, whatever that show is. That Jada Pinkett. She brought on uh, thing Will Smith to talk about it. That's crazy. But you, I want to ask you actually about the Chris Rock. You've seen the Chris Rock special. It's cool. Uh, what do you think of it? I liked it. Yeah, that's what he mentions when he says, your wife fucked um, your son's friend and then brought you in to interview about it. <laughs> like, I fucked your friend. How do you, you, your son's friend, how do you feel about it? It's wild. It's just wild. I just, I just, because she wanted to marry, she wanted to marry Tupac. Tupac. Yeah. She wanted, yeah, she loved Tupac big she time. Loved, she loved Tupac. But imagine now she's married to Tupac and then now Tupac, she, now we know Tupac's business. Because mm. that's what she does, you know? Yes. You no, know but, but, but remember, she's Tupac's soulmate, so she would yes. respect Tupac. No. But she doesn't respect Will. No, she would have Tupac's business on the street. I think so. I swear, do you then think so? Mm -mm. Tupac, Dr. Bullet. <laughs> <laughs> if 
this sounds from Kuma Kiro. It can't be a cheat. How's the fuck life when your when your son's friend fucked your wife? Son, you missed it. You missed the pun, son. Oh, did I miss it? Son! Watch the show. Watch the show. Watch the bullet. Watch the show. Watch the bullet. Oh, I missed it. Watch the show. Ah, for for the first time ever, Saul will be watching podcasts and chill on Monday at four. Did you know how I feel? Yeah. Now you know how I feel. <laughs> yeah, now I know how you feel. Dude. We got you. We got you. <laughs> yeah. You missed oh, it. Fuck. You missed it. Fine, so just watch this. Episode. What else you got, girls, lady? What else you got there? Fuck a lot. No, actually, back on, like, just on what's trending, or what's trending here in South Africa, I don't know if you've seen Lois. So, you know, of lately, we've got this doctor, Dr. Musandi Lekwabe, from KZN, this mm-hmm. man, right? So he's a doctor, but it's just that people now are criticizing Ooh. him. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. guy was just. Ah, uh, Kipanzula. Yeah, yeah, he's got yeah, the yeah. He's human. Yeah. He's trying to yeah, be Yeah, he plays yeah. with he's the wheelchairs human. around. Patrick I think Baker. Like, he's very relatable. That's what guy. I feel like, yeah. Yes. Nah, actually, you know what? I understand what he's trying to do. Uh-huh. I want my doctor to speak to me normal. I, I see I, I, I don't even want a cool tattoo doctor. No. I want a nerdy old man. Who, oh, so you're against him, basically. I'm not necessarily against him. I'm just saying that. You wouldn't consult with him. You wouldn't consult with him. Remember on Kulula? On Kulula, uh, the... The The the, um, airline. The airline. And they were trying to be cool. (laughs) They were like, yes, you might find the thing under your... Yeah, what do you mean, (laughs) Mike? We have no time to be funny. (laughs) Fuck are you talking about? (laughs) Hey, there's context to be funny. I'm shitting myself while flying to Cape Town. Yeah, yeah. my life is in your hands. My yeah. life's in my hands, so give me the trust. It's, I understand what people are saying. I'm like on both ends of the spectrum. Give, and, and <laughs> we don't have time for that shit. So I think that the, the communication is that, no, this brewer here mm. is cool, it's qualified. That's not the issue at all. Mm-hmm. The issue is like, can you, call, can you give me the impression that you've got shit under control? No, but he's he's an amazing doctor, bro. You don't know that. No, they say he's really a great doctor. Yeah, okay, I don't know. But he's employed, and I'm sure he does the work. Yeah, he's fine. Most of these shoots, he does them in hospital. So, I guess he's Yeah, I don't think he's doing his TikTok yeah. videos and someone just died in his head. Yes, I know. It's it's a good thing for the... You know, like, it's a... I think it's a good thing that people get to see... And a bit, yeah. Yeah, right. (laughs) Marok Salai. Marok Salai. It's like, yeah, my nigga. Come. The thing about human beings, we've been told that you can be ourselves all the time. And mm. that's not the truth. You can't be yourself all the time. Like you, if you, if you, fuck, Mac, you. So are you saying that I, we I hate ourselves? I get what he's saying. Are we no, I'm saying, I'm saying I, that. I, I get what I'm he's saying. saying. I'm saying that. Nah, you, 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 as a human being, you assume a sense of duty. Yeah. So there's a duty to your kids, duty to your wife. There's certain, you, I, we're all sexual beings. Yeah. But when we talk to kids, we have to understand they're not sexual. Oh, yeah. So we have to talk to them. So I can't be myself. I can't be like, ooh, I'm a sexual being. And the kid's like, yeah, but I'm eight. He doesn't get that. So we have to I'm engage him. Why, huh? boy? <laughs> Watch the show. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> What's the show? Whoa, <laughs> hi, son. <laughs> son. Son, you missed a pan. The whole room was like, son. <laughs> <laughs> and then, son. No. But I, I get you. I go get, on, you kind of, like, I think, like, we've been just told that we can be ourselves all the time. And that's not true. If you're a preacher, your, your congregation expect a certain level of behavior. If you're an athlete, the people who... You know, I remember, geez, this is actually quite crazy. Uh, uh, what's that club in 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 um in Santon back in the day? And it was 2010, it's a party, it's lit. And Katlegon Bella walks in. Yeah. 2010 World Cup, dog! Yeah. We were shocked. But weren't they kicked out? No, they they I was there, they escorted them out. Gents, you can't be here. <laughs> There's a certain level of conduct you must have. Uh. Dog, you, now I've they're still a, in the World Cup. Dog, they're inside the World Cup oh, at home. Fuck it. Now you're at the club. Now here's because all the hotels were insane. So you so want me? Why. You want me? You want me as a ticket holder <laughs> to cheer for you when I was partying with you last night? Fuck out of here. So human beings always have this crazy idea that look who's talking. Be, he cried on stage. <laughs> yeah, people expect you to deliver jokes, nigga. 
People come with their baggage. <laughs> to, to expect you to help them forget. Good one. And nigga starts crying. <laughs> and it made them feel even heavier than when they walked in. <laughs> and you're supposed to lift the weight of them. <laughs> you know what? I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I get I you. Understand? No, I get you. Because, but I, I, I'm doing entertainment. Yeah, See, that's a civil duty as well. It's like you know, whatever. Like I don't want to. I don't want a cool lawyer, nigga. No, I don't want a cool you. lawyer. I don't want a cool accountant. I don't. I don't give a shit. Like I, your coolness must be at the back of everything, dog. I don't. I want a cool shrink. I want you to be to me at least when you engage me. You got a shrink. Everybody has a shrink, no? <laughs> All the rich folks have shrinks, man. What black coffee you had a shrink. You got a shrink? I got a shrink and Jesus. <laughs> yeah, oh, I got you, man. Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta go. When last you saw your shrink, like what was on your mind? What happens when you get in there? So so you don't have to go to a psychologist. I've been, I thought I had a lot of problems. Remember the lady you, you referred me to? Yeah. She, one thing, she was yeah, like, yeah, oh, you're she, fine. She cleaned you up, yeah. She didn't, because she was like, oh, you're fine. You know yeah, the wanna, answers, yeah, you're yeah, fine. Yeah, she was like, you know the answers, you're fine. She literally said, you know the answers, you're fine. Because <laughs> I spoke, because I'm long-winded, and I speak, 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 then answer myself and speak, 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 speak. <laughs> answer myself, speak, That's speak, speak. The answer. answer myself. And, and then, then she gave me an answer that I gave her. Then she was like, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> this was our last session. And shout out to her for being honest, because yeah, somebody no, else no, would no. have dragged it for no it's reason. Because, it's because you're, you're shrinking the pants <laughs> No, it's a white oh, lady. She deals with... Yeah, Ukraine, Joe. She's, she's a white relatable. lady. But I get you with that thing, uh, Kwame, because... I'll, Look, I'm for be yourself, right? Because he's not, it's not like he's showing a video of him. Let's say he's a surgeon yeah. and he's doing surgery, performing surgery, and he's yeah. got a bottle of Heineken or no. Grand Jewel or whatever while performing the surgery. Everybody protecting him, if they had a chance and their life, they needed a doctor to save their lives. And there was Kwame and another black guy, uptight, behaves professionally. Chances are, they wouldn't take that risk because they would think there's a, a there's an underlying risk. Because imagine they would always choose the guy who's a bit who's who's reserved. supposedly pro more professional. If it push comes to shove and their life is in, in, is, is in danger or they're about to lose their life and the doctor needs to save them, they're not gonna go for the cool TikTok doctor, no. even though he's brilliant. And I've heard he's brilliant though. I mean, no, how but many Lisa, doctors do you see on TikTok also? It's not like he's not... I don't want, want my doctor on TikTok. Mm. You see, that's the problem. There within lies the problem. Yeah. You remind but, me of... You're right, man. You remind me when I ordered an Uber Black. Uh, the car comes and the driver... The and it's probably like a brilliant this, driver. driver. You sit like this. Why are we driving? I'm like, hey, yeah, man, this is why now. That one I don't care. Yeah. Because it's, my life is not in danger. What do you mean? You was like, hey, I need to go past somewhere before I get to your... Uh, do you think I'm like, my man, where are we going? Use it, Paul's in the Uber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, like, to that way. He was saying, Paul, then he made the Uber, and then the Uber, he made the Paul sound. What's the Paul sound? I met a Paul guy go, I'm going to go five times and go to Alice. No way. Paul drivers are wild. Bro. <laughs> niggas be wild in Paul here, drivers. Yeah. Wild, and they always ask you, "Ngola, uh, send the cash." <laughs> and you, and there's a reason why you've got your credit card set up, yeah, and whatever. But Ngola sends the cash or whatever. That's just strange, man. Strange punch. It's always just, anyway. Go see. Last what you got for us. Okay, so you know these rumors about um, Patrice Motipe and Akotlejo Danke. So they. Akotlejo. Akotlejo. Yeah, Akotlejo. Danke. Akotlejo. She's a former Generations actress. Mm. What did I yeah. Say? Did you said at Akatlaho. No. Yeah, uh, uh, Mashaba. Do you know Mashaba, right? Yes, she used to be on Generations. Do you know her? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mashaba, yeah. yeah. So she used to be on Generations here, yeah, and then there was rumors that um, actually it put, uh, Patrice Motipe is the father of her child. Mm. Yeah, so it was just the, the weird previous thing child. Now she's still preg she's pregnant. Yeah, yeah. So right now um, they have both, I think Motris, uh, Patrice Motipe is. They have denied, and she has also denied. There's a whole article of guys. Of uh, this is the part of the podcast where I'm like, I do not comment on billionaires, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 
It's above your pay grade. Bra Patrice. This is a billionaire relationship. So you go to the bathroom. Bra Patrice is the good ones, man. Mac just went to the bathroom also. He just disappeared. Yeah, and I was filling up. I was refilling. We ran out of dash. Yeah, but apparently it's a, she denied now that... Uh, yeah, yeah, they've both denied it that, um, you know... And also I heard that Patrice and the wife, the wife, the, she was spotted not wearing a ring or... Hey man. But there's, it's rocky there. Who talked to Matipe? But you know these power couples, they always have an arrangement, dog. Somehow, yeah, somehow. generally. Why, yeah. why is it always happening? Like you hear these stories, you know, Guys. like we look up to these couples and all of the time and then all of a sudden it's like you hear some stories. Whether it was the Fergusons or what, what. There's just some... What do they say about the Fergusons? No, I'm just saying like... It's always, you know, like you have these power couples that are put up there by the social media and we like f- look up to them. So then like after, afterwards, there's always a story. No, these guys were really not together or these guys were allegedly not. It's almost like it was like they, they insinuate that these people were having like these. Um, it was an open marriage, for for instance. That's why I'm, I heard about the allegedly whether it was the Ferguson's, you know, even though, yes. Um, but how many billionaires, fella, 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 honestly have like, Proper healthy marriages, cause it's a bit impossible. The uh, the Amazon guy divorced, Bill Gates divorced. Yeah, Patrice Mutipe. Yes. We're hearing now yes. that the relationship oh, is a bit. Divorce. Let's and be honest. All, yes. No, people divorce every day. I get it, right? I get it. But either you're not home half the time, you're always True. working, and that's how billions are, are made, right? Or you're always overseeing things. Or so you've been seeing you just royalty, have so much money that royalty as well. You get whatever you want, whoever you want, whenever you want, wife or not. Abraham won't change his divorce. Well, the kids and his marriage. You know? <laughs> like you hear it, royalty as well. You know, like how these kings and queens and what what they'll be like. Ah, no. Would you do an open relationship, Luis? Yeah, she is. It could backfire. So you wouldn't. I don't think so. How would it be, how would it backfire if you if you are in guy if your guys are in a solid arrangement like well, I mean, I to your wife you do you and you do you. I think you have a positive bias towards the situation. You always picture the shit working your way, mm. but you never picture the inverse. Mm. So when the inverse happened, that could be some hurtful shit. Mm. And I've heard I've had situations where people were hurt in, in, in a situation and they didn't anticipate. You know what I mean? That's stupid. A part of your mind always needs to think about the inverse. Always. So that, because chances are it will happen and you need to think about it but don't get overcome by it that you're being funny to your partner even when they're not getting up to anything. But a part of you, you can't be that naive. A part of you needs oh, to yeah, leave. Of course, of course. The, 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 the idea of Maybe, the world is not maybe, perfect. Maybe bruh. the person is way more fulfilling than you could ever. The connection is different. But now she has to come back to you and pretend, oh, what's all? Yes, those jokes are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And or whatever, whatever, whatever the case is. But I mean, it is what it is. People can, people can figure out whatever the hell they're trying to figure. How out. come you don't have any kids, bro? I don't know. I just, um, I just don't. Shit. I'm shooting blanks. Uh, probably. Nah. Probably. Mm. Have, no, have you tried for a kid? No. You've never, no, I shouldn't ask that, or no, you've never tried for a kid. <laughs> why the fuck would I prohibit you from asking me shit? So why, you have never wanted a kid? No, I'm not. Those are two different fucking questions. Have you tried? <laughs> no, those are just saying, have you tried for a kid? Have you, no. <laughs> have you tried for a kid? Have you I wanted fuck, a kid? This guy just asked me two questions. No, those are the same are, questions. Those are two different questions. What, I asked no, have no, you no, tried for a kid yeah. and do you do want like one? Yeah. I've never tried. And I, I, I do think that I, 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 I go in and out of wanting. And Sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, be, this would be a great idea. And then I think about my life, like, because I was in London last week and I was like, I need to get home. And I didn't have to consult and mm, think. Mm. I just jumped into the plane. That's what I envy about. So you've never had a kids. scare like morning after Shandy's? My early 20s, I guess. Nah. Huh. <laughs> I won't lie, I envy not having a kid because, because right, like you you can do whatever you want. You can relocate, you can. If an opportunity comes calling in Baghdad or whatever, you can Who fuck. Fuck it. wants to go to Baghdad. So, <laughs> so what's wrong with you? So I love nobody can get me to Baghdad. 
No, so what you no, say? Love. Malaika, Listen, let's be your honest, dad right? wants no, to no, run no. away to back dead. As, as parents, we need to be honest, ne? We love our kids a lot, big time. Yeah. But there is sometimes a moment where you're like, if I didn't have my kids, <laughs> no, not that I don't no, love so, them. So, and, and one day me, my daughter, wait, one day my daughter will watch this and, yeah. and she'll be a parent no, and she'll I think, know I think, what I'm talking about. I think about. we're going to show this episode to your daughter next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like my dad, I'm like, <laughs> yo, my daughter. I think, I think, I think everybody knows who's watched the podcast. I love my daughter to bits. But the thing is, because my thing is, there's always you think, hey, but you can't take her because you can't yank a kid away from her her mom, yeah, right. And also, you can't raise a kid from the other part of the world or whatever. If life can happen, not that I've wanted to leave, but you, there's certain options about life that you need to. Forget about once you become a parent. There's certain things you need to forget about completely. They're gone. No. Unless you're going to take everybody and one day, if the opportunity does come, and it doesn't mean you don't love your kids, but now you are still a person, a kid in the guys, bigger guys, scheme of life. I wa- I now mean, you must have fun. I mean, uh-huh. this, this, is, this is very revealing of you and great, but we have not told the people we at David Mashaba's class. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, oh, we're getting carried away. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you guys? We're getting carried away, bro. We're at the David Mashaba's studios. Uh, that's it. Mash- it. Po- email podcast at mashaba.ca.za. Oh, yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with hey, you people? Guys, before we go, man, what happened before with the... Before we go... What happened with the roast? With the roast? Yeah, yeah, because you were writing the roast, yeah? He, he was, he, 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 I wanted to... I was, I was I under pressure from everybody at the fucking the roast. Face. You know, let me tell you, man, before he, he, he no, goes This is uh, Canyon Bar's roast we talked yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you, so you were supposed to be at the roast. He then said... Nah. I said, oh, no. He pulled out last yeah, minute. Fuck you, actually. And then they called so that, me. Nah. Kind of last minute. Shut up. We were in, in me, the UK. Me, First time in me, England. No, let me tell you And you should think about a fucking roast. Before that... Coming back to I wanted, I wanted, how dope would this have been if So and Max sat on one seat? Ooh. Ooh, beautiful. Right? Yep. Who pulled out of that? Uh, MacGyver? <laughs> Who? No. You know, lawyer talk, what's going to happen is that when those jokes hit, it's not going to... Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you worried about being roast? No, 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 no. no. You're scared of being roast? Oh, man. And come on. Say, you're, you're 15, not giving a fuck on. about getting fired. Come on. Then I say... TV. You know what happens, so. Don't act like you don't know, dog. I was trying to get a good deal for us. I was trying to get a good deal for us. No, 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 no. The roast people wanted to take advantage. They wanted to... To rob I'm, us. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in... I'm they were, in they were giving us a nigga deal. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. yeah. I, I didn't know. I don't know about that. Yes, yeah, yes. No, you wouldn't. It's Who's above your pay grade. Comedy. Shocks you so much, you start reaching for things that are not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to hide behind. They know I hide behind. An- an- Anas is strong. <laughs> Jeez, bro. But you're oh, saying, yeah, I didn't remember that, actually. No, Please. I didn't. I mean, listen, I, I was creatively directing. Nice. So I just go, this is what I'd like to mm. see. So I don't know how they negotiate with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Of I just course. go, yo, man, I'd like, if I'd these like... guys were together, yeah. we could. That would have been dope. Yeah, we were gonna fucking destroy your. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. <laughs> what, what? Uh, dash. Huh? Yeah, here we go. Ah, there we go. Dash. It was gonna be dope, yeah. They're not sponsored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dash, so. But how do you get a gig like that, bro? They just called me and asked yeah. me if I want to do it. And I just put together a room mm-hmm. of people and it was fun, man. It was a fun. Like the thing is, because I've been remember, like I've been writing since Piermanati days. Yes. So I know how rooms work, and I, I know how the output. And then we, I do other shows, 
But then when I finished Late Night News, I hadn't been in a writer's room in a while. Oh. I'd, I'd been... The previous roasts, I would come in, like, because Kakisa would char- would be in charge of the rooms and the guys who wrote Late Night News would be in charge of the room. And I would come in and they'll say stuff and I'll say, I'll be there maybe for like a couple of days and I'll, you know, it, 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 we're friends and we collaborate constantly. Yeah. So I kind of knew how to, to, to put a room together, but I did my own things. Like I, I, I knew the things I hated about a room and I knew, the, oh. and, the, and, and, and uh, this guy's not even listening. You know no, no, I mean? no, I'm listening. <laughs> He's on his phone. Ah. No, I'm doing about stuff. No, 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 but like, so, so, so what I, Yes. What I wanted was like, we never start like at eight. Mm. They, I don't give a shit what your business does, bro. There's no reason for anyone to be at work at eight. Mm, mm. It's just the way I feel. I'm like, especially like this. I mean, unless we're building a fucking Tesla, mm. there's no reason to be at work at eight. So people want to drop off their kids. People want to, you know what I mean? Like a person who drops off their kids, they drop off their kid, they go to yoga, then they come to work. That is a person who's going to operate now, optimum. Mm, but people yeah, don't go, yeah, 8 o'clock, you must be here. You're like, nah, nigga, chill. So you wrote all the jokes? No, we're ten, there were 10 other people in the room. Oh. I, was, I was the person reporting to the... Mm. So I put that all together and, you know, just create a system where this thing functions. And in the, I think it was six weeks, we were able to write three hours of jokes. Wow. Who wrote Soul's jokes? Because he tanked on the night. Man. Soul's yeah. a fucking asshole because he didn't listen to nobody. Mm. So remember when you guys were in Manchester? Yeah. Don't That's when the news broke can... to me that I'm going to be on the roast. And right, but then we tried to get on a call. It was three days mm. to three go. Days time. And I'm coming back to South Africa in two days' time. So when I landed in South Africa, no, but the, we... that's when I only saw the jokes. A day before the roast. But we were scheduled to have a call, right? So I was supposed to do jokes in my first time in England. No, I was we were going to be on the call in, in Manchester. Son, you've been living in England for four years. <laughs> in my first day in Manchester, <laughs> all these people happen to see me. First time fucking seeing Manchester yeah. at Piccadilly. <laughs> I need to now Craig. fucking go over jokes. Yeah, yeah. That, okay, fine. So that was the fucking problem. <laughs> Because Matt pulled out last minute and you called me. And I was like, oh, great. No, Matt I love that out. roast. No, you were like seven at the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. That, that was a joke. Yeah. A good one, no, a good one. But you know what I mean? So, and my thing is that no, I'm, no, no. I'm, I'm bad at cramming I, stuff. You give me a day to cram stuff, and I, it's not going to work. But I thought like we... I'm not a crammer. Because everyone else, everyone else had kind of worked... Um, like so, so that that meeting that you missed mm. would have just helped you even have the idea. So because we didn't have that, and that meeting that script was not even ready at that meeting. It was just to talk. Of course, but you start building. And there it. was three days before the the roast. No, the script. The, the so the script was ready. We talk. You. We, I got it day before the script. Sol, 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 sol. You 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 bugging. You really, really... I got the script a day you get before. The, you don't, there's no way, because this... this I, I got the emails. Okay, well, fuck it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got the, I, the receipts, I, I, bro. I, 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 I got the receipts, literally. I, I had one night with the script. Yeah, literally. but we were supposed to have the... We were supposed to have that meeting. That's... Because it's almost pointless to get the script, because the idea is to... Okay, yes or no? Everybody else had, like, three... A month to prepare. Not necessarily. Yeah, but they weeks. The, maybe the most 10 days. Mm. I had three days, and well, the other day I was excited to be in, in the UK. <laughs> it was my first time in the UK. <laughs> so you want me to lock myself up in the hotel room in the UK? <laughs> to, at script of Kanyumbao. I'm in the UK, bro. <laughs> but my thing, my thing was, <clears throat> had I tried to cram that thing within 24 hours, I it was never gonna work. I, okay, this is this is this is for me career advice. Don't do shit you can't do. Mm. Mm. Yeah, true. Mm. I agree. Because if you Cause, no no, because if you agree to do the thing, because I can't, because we, we literally that was my fault then. Yeah, but, I agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Totally, 100%, totally, totally. 100%. So, I, so for me, it's like if you if you can't do the roast, then if you don't literally I have can, the time, I can do the roast. But if I, I'm asked, 
if I'm the first option and I've got a month like everybody else. No, it was it, it actually wasn't like that. People were pulling out all the time. Mm. Like people would agree and they wanted Mitsali as well. Yeah. A lot of people pulled yeah, out. Yeah, they want Oh yeah, yeah. Mitsali, I think she was sixth before me as a second <laughs> option. But I heard they wanted her. And a couple of other names that pulled out. But I should have pulled my, out. You know why? Sometimes I'm too loyal and like fuck. If I pull out now, nah, I'm fucking these guys up. Nah, you shouldn't be. Don't I shouldn't feel, have don't said yes. That. I shouldn't have said it because the it's, time. Because it's better to say no than not do it optimally. Yeah. Because my likers gonna watch that one day. Hey. Oh, but she'll know. Th- she'll know that I'm amazing because I raised them there every day of her life. Mm. Mm. Uh, like, great like, comeback, right? Like her, <laughs> no. Gonna be like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I want to go to put that in Manchester. Nah, man, it's fine, man. My kid, yeah, I'm, Manchester. I'm a hero. So, you know, I'm the funniest guy. I'm a hero. Yeah. Oh, good. Anyway, as kids, as kids grow, they, they, the standards increase. <laughs> that's exactly. True, so they do, she'll be know. able to, that's why, that's why I said, no. And that's why you love it. She'll be able to huh? look at it like, ah, you babu, babu moshi lila. Exactly. Anyway, huh? anything else you want to talk about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Science has taken a step closer to making puns more understandable. <laughs> nah, nah, I can never get that, bro. Science, science is now closer to if you and Luis Okola one day want to have a kid oh, no. and you can have a biological child. So what they did this past week, two mice, male, they created an, an egg, a female egg from the cells of the one male mice and they, had, they bred a child. A baby, a mice baby from two males. Are you being for real? I'm dead serious. Ring your bell, fact checker. Jeez. So it's Sinkwa. Yes. It's Sinkwa. So basically... huh? <laughs> Sinkwa. I'm going to say they can bread. Hey, Luis. I'm going to say they can bread. Hey, Luis. Two male mice, they bred. It's Sinkwa. They don't know who Yeah, bro. It's the craziest thing ever. So this is going to help... This is gonna help men. Apparently, you can't have kids. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I missed that one. I'm glad you explained it. Yeah, I missed that one. You're gonna have to watch the podcast. Now at least you don't have to watch. You'll be out there doing your thing. That's crazy, though. Yeah, That's yeah, wild, yeah. So bro. yeah, but like they took the cells from the thingy. So this could help like. Gay couples or mm. even like just friends who want to go into business. Let's say Messi and Ronaldo were friends and then they wanted to make a super footballing kid mm. that could literally create a baby um, from the two of them. Obviously, they don't need to have sex because th- it's well, artificially. I, I mean, you it's can in have, a lab. You can have a baby. I don't think you can manufacture the baby you want because your idea could be like Messi and Ronaldo have a baby. Then it's going to take the other parts of them that are not football linked. Or whatever the case is, but I don't think you can. Oh, fact checker already. You just yeah, cross your fingers and hope. Because cause, cause Hitler's parents were like, yo, this one's going to... God. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this one's gonna he's gonna be he's gonna be a great student on CBS day he's gonna rock Jewish Can that's, that's, us that's the part of the day that's the part of the yeah. day that was, great. that was beautiful that was brilliant I wish you said at the roast <laughs> <laughs> yeah for sake <laughs> You should have written a toast at the roasted, motherfucker. <laughs> Ew, fake checker. Um, yes, the study was started in 2018. They first started with two puppies that are female. And it happened with egg cells. Now they tried it with stem cells from sperm, um, from male mice. And yes, they were able to have a child. Wow. So some Hale could have been a kid. Yeah. Somali could have been the name of a kid, not just a hashtag. <laughs> could have been the name of a whole being, like a boy. Oh, honorable member. Oh, <laughs> no, it's a true story, though, but yeah, it's one step. So that means you, men, you men can survive without females. Now you don't need women around, here. Yeah? Nah, nah, we need women. You make, you can no, make no, oh, we need you, women. Do you, there's a, there's a, a species of salamander in Mexico that that has... Only a women's society. Whoa. Whoa. A species of what? Salamander. What's salamander that? is? Salamander. Like, like it's Salamander like to... Uh, the husband. Uh, when the husband was leaving her. 
so they 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 use the wow man oh yeah, yeah. it's fascinating oh, okay. oh she's she's on the money it's called an exoloti it's a fish and yes it's only female breeded so the females lay eggs and have kids that are female and the process, wow. the process of breeding is called kleptogenesis. So all they do is like they steal semen all over the place from other fishes and they manipulate it and then they impregnate themselves. Yo, oh. it's just female fish. Yeah, yeah. They just that's how they roll in their society. Like St. Mary's is I was a steel. female school of fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, oh, that'll be dope. Oh, that'll be, <laughs> yeah. I wanna be there. Yeah, she's, like, she's like, I'll be big. I'm telling you, I'm not That's interesting, dog. How did wow. you find that out, bro? I don't know. I just know. I know weird things about, like, I know random stuff. Oh, I, I know, love that, man. Yeah, I know yeah. Random yeah. things about. I remember this one time we did the 947. 947. Speaking. Oh, thing. we didn't. Uh, 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 yo, are you there? <laughs> <laughs> I, and and I was there, like I didn't answer any questions. And there was one, like when they go against the schools. Back in the day, remember they used to do a quiz against schools. Yeah, when they used to challenge schools. And I was just, I, I, Anela invited me, and I went there, and I just, they were just asking questions, and no one knew this question. And my, it was the most random question ever. But you knew the question answer. was like, what, what. Musical note does the toilet flushing. You? Oh, wow. fuck, the key. Right? Yeah, like, the, then I, in my mind, I'd heard it somewhere, and I don't know what might happen to my brain. My brain just goes, tora, 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 and I just have it in my mind. Then I, it's a, you know, it's a big decide. It's a yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh. like, I don't remember it now, but I was like, C minus. And everyone yeah. just lost their mind. Wow. I was like, oh shit, I just remember weird things. Uh, Even with sports, yeah. I'd be like, oh no, this guy when he, you know, like, like sports statistics, like, what the fuck? How do I remember? I don't know, my brain, you know, like with trauma, people forget things. And sometimes when I'm fascinated by something, my brain just goes, keep that, keep that, keep mm. that. I just know. What are you reading at the moment? At the moment, oh, at the moment, uh, I was reading this book about this ANC president from 90, in, in, the, in the 40s called A.B. Guma. Very fascinating. Very fascinating guy. He like he when he was the president of the ANC, he they had no money. They didn't have offices, structures, and stuff like that. He started. He wasn't a, a guy who went to study in America, came back, and he just became the president. It, it, it just a fascinating guy, man. Wow, just a fascinating man. guy who lived in Sofia Town, dressed nice, was a doctor, and used to call. You know, he was known as the black head of state, and uh, wow. he was president. And he, you know, they were they had no money, and he. Yeah. You know, fill their coffers. He, he, he lit, like, if you trace the ANC, he's the guy who literally transforms them into a thing. Wow. Whoa. Wow. So there was a puzzle shop before him. Absolutely. fucking lutely wow. you, That's not even a joke. Yeah, that's no, 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 no joke. Now lutely. it's Diamond yeah. Walk, my man. Ah, uh, now it's, fuck, time, yeah, it's like lost connection with the people. It's Diamond Walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very fascinating guy. And he, you know, he was like, he had like three degrees on like Jeez. the one fascinating Whoa, thing I, I read in that book so what used to happen back in the day they used to take <laughs> they used to take um <clears throat> like the missionaries used to send brilliant students to study in america and the government at the time in south africa because these guys would go to america and they would come back radicalized mm, mm, mm. like really like you know be into the politics of and that they didn't like that and they were like, we need to start a university where these guys are not incentivized to go overseas to study. Oh, I and see. And that's how they started Fort Hare. Fort Hare. Oh, they, were like, they were like, oh, no, we don't want them to leave because when they come back, they are wild, wild. Fired it's up. Like, yeah, they, they become fired up and they didn't like, you know. It was really like fast. So fa there's, a, there's, a, there's a thing there. He was the first, he was the first um, black South African to speak 
in the, at the UN in the 40s. What the fuck? Whoa. Yeah, yeah, he, he was... He was he what was what his name? A.B. Puma. 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 Yo, he was on Puma. another Puma. wave. He was on another man, there should be a documentary about this guy. Yeah, man. I'm trying, I was trying to write a play about it. Oh, yeah, man. and what happened? It's, plays are hard to yeah, yeah, put yeah. together, and I'm doing a bunch of stuff. I'm being used, so I'm busy. You love the kids. I'm... It should be child's play for you. To... <laughs> Drop the fucking Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> so, yeah, I, if you have time, I mean, there's not, I had to, it took me like, eight months to find a book about this guy. Mm. And I didn't even get the book that I wanted. I found one where I was, I read that shit in like three days. I was fascinated. He, there's a, he, you know, Jan, the, at the time, Jan Smats was the president and he'd been writing Jan Smats. But yo, we need to, we need to, um, chop it up. We need to chop it up. Mm. And yeah, and, and you know, like, the, the, I mean, apartheid is only 48. And I think in 1942, the, the Southern government was like, yo, we need the, the the world needs South African soldiers to fight. And then Kuma goes there is like, yeah, but when they come back, can they have rights? <laughs> can they and they they like they're like, no, I mean look at them bicycles mm. Mm. and an apple. Mm. And an apple and maybe a sandwich. Mm. Mm. And then he's like, nah, nigga, you niggas fight your own fucking wars, we'll be right here. So he was that wow. kind of guy. And so he write to Jan Smas all the time and he never used to reply. Never used to reply. And then one day at the UN they bump into each other at the foyer. And then Jan Smuts runs away. Because <laughs> 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 he's like, hey, Muktola, Muktola, yo, shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Out. So, you, like, when you read about this, I mean, South African history is, like, fascinating. Fascinating. And, I'm, and, oh, and even if you, like, 30s, 40s, 20s stuff, really fast, like, Google, what is this, Um, what is it called, the Rand? I think it's a Rand Revolt. Rand Revolt. Is it? Is it the? Please, please, please check the. Yeah, yeah. It's about, I think, like end of World War One. What had happened was, they went into a recession. I think it was like 1920s or whatever. Early, early. No, before the 1920s, what had happened was, the mining companies in South Africa were like, because black people are cheap labor, mm-hmm. we'll just employ them instead of white people, because they're just cheaper to play. Yeah. Yes. What is it called? Rand Revolt, right? Um, It's called the Rand Rebellion, the but Rand it's Rebellion. also called the Rand Revolt of 1922. What's yeah. this now? This is a book now. No, no, no. It's, no, it's, it's a history. It's, sure. Okay. So oh, it's a history it, theme. So No, it's history yeah. of South Africa. It's a period in South Africa. Tell it, tell it, it happened in March to, um, 1922 at the Witwatersrand. Butters around, um, where people were fighting over the white mines. That's Joburg. So, so, and yeah. we're still processing I mean, it. Fits. No, 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 no. But what's crazy is that yeah. What's <laughs> What's really interesting about that? <laughs> I'm man, I'm man, shut up. <laughs> so what had happened was because because the mines of because of black cheap black labor and the mines started employing black people. White people started protesting, like, whoa! Yeah, yeah, and then I don't know who was the president at the time. I think it was either Barry Herzog or whatever. He, um, um, in Mayfair, in town, shot like, came in helicopters and tank, and then shot the protesters like the like, white people. White people, yeah. What? Wait, oh, white and white crime. The white and white killing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Shot, started blow. Yeah, yeah. Just read up on it. It's really fascinating. He shoots. Killed about 80 people, 80, maybe even more, maybe 100, 120 people. The whatever. president. The president. like Not himself. Not himself. I mean, I mean but he gave the order, go slow. No, no. no. <laughs> Fact checker, please. <laughs> Okay, at that time, we there wasn't really a president, but they were part of monarchs. So it was um, people, higher commissioners, who were sent by the monarch of Britain. Okay, oh, so who was it though? Do you know who was it at the time in 1922? Um, it says that his name was Prince Arthur of Connaught. Connaught. Oh, he's from Britain, yeah. So, uh, so Barry Hedgehog was campaigning with the Labour Party for the next elections. Hmm. And in the, in the elections, yeah. he had this clause called the Colour Bar. And the Colour Bar law was essentially that in South Africa going forward, black people will never earn more than... Just it's by law. Whatever happens in... 
your office space, black people can't earn more than... Barry Hedgehog. Hedgehog. And we still have a street named after him from Mill Park to fucking Greenside and Park View and stuff. Would you be happy if it was the street was shorter? No. (laughs) No. If you were shot... If you were shot... This goes from... (laughs) No, man. Like, I thought it was like uh, one of the good guys. Barry Hedgehog. No. No. And then what happens? No. Hey, bro, I don't, I mean, this history is, is I mean, I'm interested in it and then I move on with my life, but it's, yeah, and then the law has just been there forever. He won the elections and that was the law and then kind of, you know, eased out. So this is pre-apartheid? Way this is pre-apartheid. Back, it's, well, it's probably like 30 years before apartheid. Uh, way pre-apartheid. Dude, dude, if you read about South African, forget. For, no, you so. Yes. Okay, you read all of this, so now you know all of this. Then you have, you know how it, what it does to a lot of people is get mad and get angry. So how do you still move to the UK? Have you seen Nota? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to be like Nota, be upset at everything. <laughs> I've got all this. No, 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 I don't. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, it's, I'm just fascinated because I, because I, I like knowing about the thing. Like, like when I, when, when I was fascinated about Pep, mm. I started reading about Pep. I like. Oh, I, Guardiola. Yeah, Pep Guardiola oh. fascinates me. Mm. That's, hey, you thought. So you thought in the podcast we're going to talk about Pep stores. I want to give a friend a job. <laughs> No, Pep Guardiola. You want a job? Yeah, I'm fa- like every time something happens, like when now is it Cancelo? Who went, yeah, yeah, Joao Cancelo. Yeah, Joao yeah. Cancelo. Who went to buy? Yes, yeah. to buy it from and City. I know, like, because because if, if you've read his book, he'll be like, he doesn't want people in in his in his squad to disagree. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, Torre, those guys. Latan. He mm. doesn't want any of that. Mm. He, he he gets rid of it. Quick. Very quickly. I mean, that Cancelo thing, how crazy was that? Yeah. Mm. One, two, one, two, one, two, gone. Bro. Because it's like, and I mean, every coach wants to have, that's why, uh, you remember, you, this is what you must remember. Ateta used to play for Barcelona mm. in mm-hmm. the junior levels. Yes. yes. Then he played. La Masia. Yeah, La Masia. And then he, and then he went to, um, he went to play in, um, Everton. In, in, the, in Everton, played forever. Mm. But when Pep, when Pep was when Pep was the coach at 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 uh, when he first got the gig at Barca, at, no, not at Barca, at, at Man City, mm-hmm. he got he got Ateta over to be his technical advisor. Mm-hmm. Why? Why? Because he was the, he was the a uh, very anomalous thing. He was a a La Masia player, yes, who had over ten years in the Premier League. Ah, oh. so. But you must remember, Ateta's contract at Arsenal wasn't finished. Ateta uh, ended his contract. He had three years at Arsenal. He so played. when they go to Stoke, Ateta knows what Stoke He is. knows, but he also knows the technical thing. So he was, when Pep got there, he says, I need to get a guy who understands the Premier League, and, but I also need him to help me instill the La Masia philosophy in the players who didn't grow up in La Masia. Yeah. Uh, you see what I'm saying? So, 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 but you have to know the background. Like, oh, these guys believe in this, him and Young Croft, they believe. But you that that's the thing about like that's why I don't engage on Twitter. You haven't done the work. You haven't you have you don't have the context of this thing. Now Man, I'm just I, arguing with you. Uh, you uh, at random, bro. That's why yeah, you like I, you, you don't know the, you don't know. Twitter, bro. <laughs> man, I want I wanna start a soccer podcast, man. I think it's time now. No, no. Yeah, start a football. Mm. Why not? Oh. He's got a ball. I was surprised. Oh, I was impressed now with the Arteta. Oh, no, no. Oh, uh, you, I know. You, you got oh, football no. knowledge. Oh, football, yeah. man, oh. Don't fuck with me when it comes to football. Don't fuck with me football when it comes to football. No, man, you started. I did, I did, I did a podcast. Gather around. <laughs> Len, Len's got football knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gather around him. Maybe him. Who? And you, you guys no, are he's good too busy. Yeah. He's too busy. And who? Yeah. Len. I don't know Len. You don't know Len Moleko? Len Moleko. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, the no. Godfather. Nah, you don't know. You're pulling a McG now. <laughs> <laughs> I was pulling a McG now. Like, oh, yeah, no, I know. <laughs> you don't know shit. But what should I call it, dog? What should I call it? Get a, get a football ball. I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, think... comment comment below and let me know what I should Yeah, call. start a football Of soccer and chill. Offside. No, the end thing. Uh, there's pop, popcorn and this, this and this. Offside and, and, offside and, and, and chill. And, and, and. <laughs> offside. offside. Offside and chill. chill. Oh, I like offside. And chill. What about what Offside, about, what about border, 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 border? Yeah, um, border. Yeah, that's soft vendor. vendor. Yeah, border, border. Mm. border. We are about the border gates. Okay. Border, border, border. <laughs> border. We are about the border, 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 border. 
<laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> anyway, Luiso. Yes. Why are you back in the country? What's going on, man? I came here to pray for the nation. No, I'm. Um, I'm doing. I'm. I'm doing. Um. I'm doing shows. I'm doing. Dope. A show at. Um, What's this place at the Theatre on the Square? Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, that, that's Mandela Square, Mandela Square when they turn it into yeah. a whole thing. No, but there's a theatre there. Oh, there's wow. a theatre at Mandela Square? It's called Theatre on the Square. Oh, I didn't know it. So there's a theatre there called... Once you're at the Square, you're there. Yeah. It's just opposite the library. Okay. You know, the library oh, I see the library. Then, yes, yes, library. yes, yes. Yeah, and then... Um, yeah, so I'm doing two weeks. I'm starting on the 17th of April. I'm running until the 29th. Nice. So I, I haven't done a two-week run in a long time. Mm. I like two-week runs because you settle in. Mm. Yeah. So it's a one-man show. It's, it's a one-man show. I don't so, even like opening acts, man. Dope. I just so I must on. not book the first day because you settle in. I must book towards the end of the two-week run. No, not necessarily. I just, I like, you know what? It's it's like, um. no, I don't think that's the case. I just like... Because my life is so sporadic and I'm always moving and around. Nomadic. And very nomadic. I like the I like the idea of consistency. Ah. And that idea of consistency is great, like just for me to function at my optimum. So the idea Brilliant. that I know that, oh, tomorrow I'm gonna come here again, there's a light guy, and then we're like, hey, cool. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. Whereas in London, like on the weekend, I was telling someone that I, I did a show at 2 p.m. Huh. Went to the stadium to two show. I did Eight shows in one night. Mm. Yo! In like one night, just running around the city. But I mean, obviously the transport is top, so you can get around and... Yeah. You didn't run out of coke. Hey, man. <laughs> oh, well, he's coking in a hoop, man. Ah, eight shows, one night. Oh, you gotta be on something. Oh, yeah, that's his what theory. You about? No entertainer can do more than three shows hmm? in one night without coke. But she thinks everyone is on cocaine. <laughs> yeah. 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 But also, we've done, because, hey, bro, well, it says two shows are too much. Three shows is fucked up. No, but Four I, shows, maybe, but the no, fifth but, show, you got to be on something. No, but, guys, my last... got to be, bro. Wait, wait, wait. But these are two different things. <laughs> First of all, you guys are playing in Rankua. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. You are playing in Rankua at two in the morning. <laughs> That, that's a very different thing from London at 7 p.m. or Jobek at 7. My last show but is at like 10.45. Oh. You're exerting it's, all that energy no, for eight times in an evening. And also, you guys are playing two hour sets. I'm doing 15, 20, 30. Oh, okay. It's makes two sense. things. Oh. I don't need, like, I don't, I don't need. No, you saw. When yes, you ma'am. say, okay, you don't like. You address me as a Muntones team. Oh. <laughs> hey, no, wow. you saw. <laughs> um, like, like, bro, like you're an um, example. Um, yeah. um, 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 I'm in court or something. Yes. Nice, so can you please state Obu <laughs> Like, no, because I'm listening to you and you're saying you don't like opening acts, even for a one man show. So, yeah. are you not like, for the idea of putting people on? Putting people, getting some of the opening acts, not necessarily putting people on. Like, sometimes the put on that the people need is just a place to stay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wow. we're gonna be in the UK this year, man. Do you understand what I'm saying, dog? Okay. So someone will say to me, "Yo, you're like, you don't need stage time, dog. You need a sandwich and a place to sleep." <laughs> oh, and that's putting you on. Wow. Wow. Because sometimes we just we never ask what the person needs as a put on. We just assume that no, they, they want to be on stage. There's there's mad acts who's, they have lived in my house. I'm not gonna mention their names because oh, I, I come want, on. no, because no, because not that's not the per, that's not the point. Because I do it, I want to, and I don't want to be like, oh, Skumba, oh, Skumba used to be. Oh, Skumba, <laughs> no, 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 not Skumba. <laughs> hey, Skumba. <laughs> no, because because no, no, because. Skumba, you want to cut message? Oh, shut up, man. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying that when Mo was here, he was like, Skumba used to be a fucking cop and I used to pick him up and he was and you're like, yeah, that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. It's, no. not, some, it's not something yeah. I, I, that I'm like going to fucking put you down. On. So I don't want. Oh, you owe me. I, yeah, you don't owe me. It's not a. It's it's not a. It's not an issue. The first time Tolles Tolles opened for me, we went to Cape Town. Tolles Mo never been to Cape Town, and I was like, Yo, let's go to Cape. We were managed by the same people. No, I've got all the love for Tolles. We went to Cape Town. You gotta stand up when you say that. It slaps different, man. Yeah. What? You gotta stand up when you saying you put on Tolles. <laughs> you see the real Tolles. Yeah, that's all. 
Did I miss that whole? <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I told him, I told him, show, boy. I told him, boy. I told him, Kule. What's the show? What's the show? What's the show? What's the show? No, Chola smoke doesn't mean it. You, it means totally outrageous laughter. Wow. It's not T A L L. It's T O L. Mm. Totally outrageous Just laughter. laughter. Oh, whoa! What? No one knew that. No one in the country I know knew that. that. You That's why you stepped on your couch. <laughs> no, he didn't. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us about did not sleep on my couch. Yeah. <laughs> there were comics who we help each other out all yeah. the time. It Beautiful. is what it is. Yeah. Beautiful. And, and we are community. Like a... So I was mad at I was really mad at that because Understandable. Uh, I was mad at Mo because it's like, yeah, man, we're a community of cats mm. and we we talk like Umag. The whole world would be like cancel, cancel, cancel. Mbuz and Yampele and it mag dog. Whatever, I'm not gonna, I'm never, if I have your number, I'm like, mm. dog, mm. like yo, yeah. come on, dog, like. Mm. And we might disagree, yeah. and Mark has told me to fuck off on the phone, and I go, all right, cool, I get This 15 year old. No, he, and he has, whatever, it is what it is, mm. but if I have your number, there's no way I'm gonna engage you on Twitter. That don't make sense to me. Mm. That's oh, not a real engagement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, no, no, likes, yeah. playing for the gallery. No, 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 no. That's not how. That's not how. I'm a, I'm grown, so I don't really, mm. I don't do that. So it's fine. But I, so I was watching it, and what was crazy because Skumba was on the when the episode dropped. Yeah. And because you guys don't understand this shit, because yeah. it hits and it goes viral. And yeah, he says yeah, this shit, yeah. and we have WhatsApp groups where we're discussing this shit. So I had mm. to call Skumba because Skumba was playing. What's that venue you guys are trying to play in Pretoria? San Ben Arena. San Ben yeah, Arena. He had, he had sold that out. Whoa! What are you oh, talking Skumba, about? Bro. Are Skumba's you the best. Skumba. Skumba's the best. Are you fucking joking? He, he sells the most tickets in the country. We only sold 150 okay, tickets. Okay, I'm not buying them. We only sold... Ah, chill out. We only sold 150 tickets for San <laughs> Ben Arena. <laughs> One million subscribers. The show is a match show. away. Hey. Oh, hey. chill out. La, oh. la, 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 I get it, you guys. Oh. You also oh. don't have oh. a lineup. Nina. Yeah, no, the lineup is coming. Yeah, but you can't say to people buy tickets of some shit we don't know what's going to happen. Wow, hey, wow, hey, <laughs> wow, hey, wow, hey, You hey. got people saying, the fuck? Hey, it's like, be it's, it's, it's a podcast. No, tell them something. They, they, they subscribe okay, without a lineup. Come? They subscribe without no, a lineup. So we're going we're gonna to have, have comedians. We're going to have performances. I mean, we're going to have a live show. Yeah. And Obani, the audience can... Obani. What do you mean? We're going to have a live show with the audience. Yes. Like we normally do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. You know, Mac, it's, until you tell the people what they are getting. I need to, the, the, the performances, the, the artists have to confirm first. Yeah. You can't just announce. Yeah, man. The, okay, this is what Mac is saying. Mm. Come to Medicine Square Garden. To see Black Hoof. Uh, well, oh, shout out, yeah, Bang. Shout out, but, yeah. shout shout out, out to Black Coffee, man. He doesn't have a lineup. Garden. He doesn't have a lineup. It's just, just Black Coffee. Yeah. Yes, but people now Max must Black be coffee. getting yeah. blowjobs on stage at San <laughs> Pedro <Bert> Arena. <laughs> Guys, Max is going to get a blowjob on stage. Come, we'll see it. Just do it, bro. <laughs> Fucking hell. Like, you know what I mean? There's something to look forward to. Uh... Yeah. So, Funamina, you're going to make a totally blowjob on stage. Are you fucking mad? <laughs> Okay, you maybe can't. not that, but something, <laughs> guys, we've got great things for you. <laughs> great stuff is going to be happening. Yeah, 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 it doesn't make sense. So, so Skumba we're self- We're going to cut off this part. No. Whatever you say, we're cutting off this part. Why? <laughs> why? Why, why, why? Because you, you, are, you are not encouraging the our chillers. No. No, 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 he's a chiller, remember. So he's also listen, a chiller. Listen. He's a chiller. All I'm, all I'm saying is, we're not, people are not going to come to think they are something they don't know. Yeah, but 150 tickets, though. How? Pelo, we have 8,300 in what point you go. <laughs> Mac, Mac, hey. Mac hey. thinks, you know the problem, you know the problem hey. with Mac? Mac, what, hey. Mac, Mac thinks we're in Russian back. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to say, I'm here, and people go, hello, yeah. <laughs> no, don't. Yeah, but you know how ah, Chobrek, it's Chobrek here. Crowds are, bro. There's, Kuna, there's things happening all the time. Mm-hmm. Hey, the, the people in Rasenberg are gonna roast me. Hey, man. I just hope I get a pink eye that weekend if you don't meet the status quo. <laughs> no, listen. I think no. people. I nah, we're gonna have make you, it, have man. You, have you sold I trust before? the chili. Hey? I trust the chili. Yeah, you. yeah, we have. And usually uh, we sell out quick, <laughs> quicker than this. This is under Ustaz Akraf to show the historical performance. Yeah, of but tickets this one, this at one, the, at this, this point one in is, stage. No, you. Can, I don't think you're marketing it right. I think, like. Oh. 
Well, I it's mean, the I'm biggest not... event ever, actually. Ever. Yeah. The revolted, of the, yeah. Of the podcast ever. Biggest, yeah. It's like a landmark event. For you guys. Yes. 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 Yes, but you remember, is it the biggest, bigger event for the chillers? It is. It is. Million, it is. For the chillers. Normally, we just get there, talk, and whatever, the call, and they show up. The one million is, this is for different. The, it's for you. It's your one million subscribers. Ah. Ah. We are one. You've been in London too long, Luis. Ah, bro. We are one, Chief. Ah, the chillers are us. Ah. We are the chillers. Ah. What, are you, okay. right now. what are you offering the chillers? Actually, we said there's gonna be comedians, there's gonna be performances, uh, performances, live, show. live, live artists, gold, platinum selling. I show you've never seen ever in your life, like before. you've never seen before. Is Makazi gonna be there? No, no, she hasn't got Makazi. Name one hit that you remember. She's got many hits, but the chillers for the chillers, bruh. Okay, man. Makazi is the biggest artist. I'm yes, trying to help. Listen. We've got the okay, chillers. Okay, okay. The, the artists that Let's chillers. go back to what I was talking about. We can talk about this offline. But what I'm saying is that Skumba was... Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. So he Skumba, the a, community, yes. He was, he was doing... I, I, I think it was that venue. Either yeah. that or the one in... Oh, yeah. That's where yeah. we were, yeah. He packs out these big arenas. And I know... Well, let's it, get Skumba. <laughs> Let's get cool, but he'll fill it up. Yeah. Yes, and then he'll come to the podcast because he said he would never come. So let's get him. Yeah. Let's get Skumba. Let's get Skumba. He'll pick it up for us. Need a thick need skin in this yeah. industry, anyway. <laughs> Who else? And Makati. Who Guys, else? okay. Good. Chill out, come. Makati's going to be there. <laughs> Skumba. <laughs> Kumba. Black Coffee's gonna be there. Whoa. Michael Jackson's gonna be there. You got a fucking Michael Jackson is gonna be there. Fucking um, gonna be there, bro. Um, um, Casper's gonna be there. Mohale and his Casper's legal team. Casper's gonna be there. Mohale and his legal um, team. Oh, yes, Mohale is gonna be there. MT is gonna be there. <laughs> Chava's gonna be there. Sir Ramaphosa is gonna be there. <laughs> of course. Zizi Kwadwa is gonna be the there. The Collies. Uh, the, the Minister of Electricity is going to be there. Nah, nah, we don't need that nigga. Nah. Well, just, no, used not to be that. Yeah, he used to be mayor in Pretoria, so maybe we must bring the Minister of Electricity. Yeah. Because oh, I saw him dance. He runs. He's going to be there. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so, guys. Lisa Collins is going to be there. No, what's he? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's happening 15th April, Sunbed Arena. Uh, make sure you get your tickets. Oh, Yo, it's going to be wild. Yo, that's, yeah. Actually, I'm doing... Um, I'm doing the the comedy awards on that day. Oh, is it this comedy oh, awards? Oh damn, for real. Yeah, yeah. What's the most coveted award? Is it comedian of the year at the comedy awards? I think so. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, well, I know. On 15th April, yeah. And I, also, Skumba's got a show as well. On the night of the comedy, because I remember he once got a, com a co comedy award prize and he had he got the announcement before he got on stage and he did the whole acceptance speech with this uh, crowd right behind him Dope. um this was like last year i think i remember him posting that on his socials uh yeah i don't i, I mean i it's probably not last year because this is the first one since COVID. okay but some he got an award a big mm, award. yeah no no um i think it was comic of the year Probably, maybe, yeah. Probably 2019, 2018. I don't remember. Yeah. But Who's your favorite comic now? What are the nominations for the Comedian of the Year anyway? There? I haven't really looked. Okay, but your favorite. Yeah. Your favorite? favorite? Who's your favorite comedian? Fuck it. Um, Let's Google them. Because CSA. I don't know if CSA is nominated. You know CSA? CSA? Nah, we definitely don't know CSA. You don't know CSA? Uh -uh. We know Sia, Sia from... Sia. I know Sia, the Zulu guy, right? No, it's Oh, he made a nice joke about uh, Mary. No, no, you know Sia. The guy with no teeth, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the guy with no teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Sia Seya. Funny guy, yes. Seya. Yeah. Sia Seya. Yeah, Sia Seya. yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, we don't know him. Oh my god. Funny guy. I've Very seen funny. him. Yeah. Go Google him. He's got stuff. Um, he, there's a bunch of stuff. Follow him and watch his shows. Like. Yo, follow me on Instagram. I do nothing interesting, but I appreciate the follow. All right, cool. Follow man. what? Loisa Kola. Thank Lo you so much. Oh, no, yeah, I'm, coming, I'm coming I'm for your books. I need to get some books that you've read. I heard yesterday on uh, Talk Radio, and you were talking about uh, status and anxiety Sta Status book. game. I got it on my Kindle, though. A Kindle is 
So, I know Kindle. Okay. My old high school is teaching kids now through Kindles and tablets and stuff. You went to school? Yeah. <laughs> Very good students, you know. Listen attentively. Before we go, uh, make sure you join us for your book, um, on the 22nd of April. We're out in Dubai, yeah? Oh, oh Habibi! The yes, yes. Habibi. So you can join us on the 22nd of April for the event. It's 2750 bucks per person. Mm. Or what? for accommodation... For sightseeing oh, and reading with okay. Tess. <laughs> Can't just, you know, these guys are, and then I murdered the dog in front of the puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Can oh, continue. Great. No, bro. The track. Tickets is how much? It's 2750 It's Dubai, bro. Yeah, it's, it, this is no, in no, Dubai. No, no, no. Not Terrams. Oh, Terrams. What do you mean? Oh, Rans. 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 No, Rans. Rand is less than the it's, it's <laughs> less than the minimum oh, we'll less than the minimum wage. It's less than the minimum wage, two times almost. Otherwise, it's you can so pay twenty-seven thousand five hundred, which includes accommodation, sightseeing, a reading with Taz, and a ticket to the event that we're going to have mm. and being part of the pod, uh, the podcast, the live podcast. So we're leaving Seoul, ne? On the twentieth, we land in Dubai on the twenty-first. No, we're leaving. S.A. We're, oh, we're leaving together. On the 20th. We're leaving so <laughs> It's so much vigor and excitement. And then we're going to land in Dubai on the 21st. Uh, Math and Co. will host a dinner mm. with Black Diamond. Oh. On the 22nd, it's going to be on the couch with Taz. Math and Co., the... they've got amazing wines, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the wine guys. They've got brilliant wines. So 22nd, it's a live well, okay. podcast with Taz, right? And then 23rd, we've got the Yard Cruise with Black Diamond as well. Oh. They're going to shoot a video on the Yard Cruise. Oh. And then 24th, we'll come back. Oh, A-R-D. Can't wait. A-R-D. Yo, Cape Town, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in Cape Town in June. Oh, nice. So you're you in SA for a while then? I might go back. I mean, if Arsenal wins the... The league. I'm going back for the... You think you're winning the league? Are you a season holder ticket for the uh, stadium at the Emirates? Season ticket holder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just... I don't live in London. <laughs> The words to be not me. If I say all the words, the sequence. Season, season holder anything. tickets. The season ticket holder tickets. I've really enjoyed this episode of Chillin' Podcast. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, two shades. Outside and chill. Two shades. Two shades. Do your chillin' podcast. Two shades. Hey, two shades. I've never used no, that. Two no, two, I'm doing two work in Cape, and then I'm thinking of the small city. Hey, the small towns. I've been to those small towns. Some of those potholes, guys. Oh. Were you like, no. We've got a seri- we need a minister of potholes. We genuinely need a minister that's, of potholes. You know, you know, that's More than we, electricity. That's when we need to close the country. Mm. If we have a minister dedicated to potholes, <laughs> that's when <laughs> we need to... electricity? No, we just need to shut it down and reset. You know, every everything has a reset button. They are going to reformat the country. And maybe you never know where we're going to start. We're going to start in 1978. Restart. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> so what? Sister, come on. I'm a... I'm a... <laughs> Reset. <laughs> so ducking already. Yeah, yeah. So tickets for a, a combi. I, I want to come back again. This was, this was fun. This was yeah, fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. fun. You're fun, bro. It was way better than the first time, bro. Yeah. Way better. Be no, because you're like 15. He, he's seen you now. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Mac. It's Mac G now. It's Mac G. It's not the 15 year old at the one. And there's many other people. And it's like, a, it's a vibe. Doesn't you also have to admit, you also have to admit that it was a... Uh, it's a different vibe. Yeah, yeah, it is. It, oh, is, yeah. it is. It is. It oh, is. Yeah. Doesn't it give you pure Monati vibes like when you guys were doing your shanties? No. Oh, shit. You guys, don't, what, don't, you, don't, you guys didn't don't, get don't. behind the, the, the scenes? There no, was we, trouble? We're still friends till this day. We were friends. And Rani Murimule, man, like, for me, he was the best. Oh, he was funny. My favorite. Side yeah, pocket, Rani Side Murimule, pocket. That was Inora, the character. Inora no, 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 no. And to me, it seems, and I'm a huge fan, from afar, it seems like he's the one who's had the worst Ooh, that's your after sh- Piemonati show Ooh. experience. I think sometimes... Everybody has done so well for themselves, man. But also sometimes I've learned... I've. This is and what I've... He's brilliant. His mind is brilliant. I, this is what I've learned. And he's the pun guy also, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're more like the way the bias lies. But... What you envision for other people is not necessarily what they envisioned for themselves. What yes. they want. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you're projecting what you, you want for yeah. the person. And it's a very positive thing. Mm. But yeah, you haven't, yeah, I want but, the you best. Haven't, but you don't you haven't asked them what they want. Yes. Unless you ask them what they want and they say, This is what I want, and I didn't accomplish it, then you can get to the conclusion of I mm-hmm. it's the least. It's like what you're saying, ask them what how can I put you on? Yeah, just mm. ask a person. Do, Playing a set before him is not necessarily putting you on because the people have paid to see this particular. It's not a put on. Mm. You know what I do for opening shows now? Mm. I have, have, have a ballerina. 
And the ballerina performs, <laughs> and it's fucking people are like, what the fuck's going on? But all an opening act Keep is... Keep your toes. <sighs> Nyahamba. <laughs> <laughs> Nyahamba. <laughs> Ladies, so thank you so much for coming through, bro, you're man. Brilliant, bro. Make some noise for Lo Yiso. Lo Yiso, the call, it's the call. The grand your help, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you're a true chiller, dog. Even no nanga. <laughs> oh yeah, bro. I've told you. Nah. I love I I, I watch I watch you guys all the time. Sometimes yes. I'm I'm mad at you guys sometimes, but that's the vibe. It's like it's family. It's like, yeah, though, you know, you're not gonna like things that if, everyone does all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even your little brother, you don't like things. Even your parents, you don't like things that do all the yeah, time. Yeah, but you're like, ah, oh, we're, we're stuck in this thing together. Yeah, that's the chillers. The chillers, they that's the sometimes, chillers mind. They love us sometimes. Oh, they hit us last week. You remember what with the, the God, play gun, the play yeah, gun we had. with the gun thing, With bro. the gun. Oh, Season oh, was trying to call people, me. People, everybody lost their shit. Like, Sol, you're going to get arrested. They're coming for you in Kaya in the morning. Cops will be there to arrest you. You've broken the law. Ah, you're going to go up here in pause. Ah, you're going to be Jailbreak! Ha! Yo! And let's have a prison. No, no, you know what's Shame, so crazy? Man. And then I what was happened? feeling the same way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chinos were angry at us, bro. No, but I wasn't angry. I was oh. like disappointed. I wasn't boy. angry. I was just like, you niggas are like proper 12 year old. Yo, let me see that guy here. <laughs> and then I don't know how the fuck you hypnotize that guy. And you're like, yo, so you, you drive cars all the time? You guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ning Ning, the kind is on screen. Where am I? Kingwood, Kingwood, Kingwood. What the fuck is going on? Fuck. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. This guy's pointing. Listen, it this was. This guy's like, is this thing loaded? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Look, look. It was a learning experience. Yeah. People yeah. told us, I know, I know the gun law, the act now. You know what I mean? But I, you're not I, always going to oh. have. You know, always going to have that privilege. Now you've murdered someone. Oh, I didn't know. Wait, okay. <laughs> so you don't have to kill. Shit. <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes there's no, you can't go to court and plead ignorance of the fucking law, bruh. You know when Cesar Dorman was trying to call me, we fucked up. <laughs> nah, nah, yeah, he's you our principal. Oh, he called you. He was like, tell Mac this. I'm like, oh, the urgent, this agency, like, it's late. But, but yeah, okay, I'll tell us, bro. The only episode is that, like, yo, yo, you're in trouble. Remove it, remove it. All right, niggas, a play gun. Relax. You know, but yo, I didn't know the gun act. What is it? What is the play gun? Because you guys, hey, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys marinated that proof. (laughs) And also, (laughs) you started nicely. So so you try, you try, so you in the Bentley. Oh, (laughs) yeah, I drive over. And Doug, even Black Coffee was like, (laughs) when when, when when McJig goes, you lie. I don't know what vendor fucking <laughs> place is coming out of your mouth, but you hypnotize people. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> it's over. It's over, dog. You lie. You lie. Ah, the all come flying up. You said a real guy. You lie. Hey, Black Coffee, you lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, no, no, no. people don't remember on Matt pointed at me. It's me. Yeah. No. But kind of he, he looked, I panicked when he pointed at you first. Yeah. But he, only, he reacted. I was like, oh. Because me, I tried pulling it here. I was like, oh, I right, guys, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Now nah, his reaction. Because ah, when he pointed, I think because when he pointed at me, I'm like, I'm too late, you boy. But when he, I pointed at him, now he reacts. I'm like, fuck, why is he reacting? Why is he? That's like, no, so, so you know this no, no. gun is a fake gun. So we've been trying, I've been trying to get a podcast for a while. So when this episode comes out, I'm like, oh, these niggas are getting canceled. <laughs> Bro. I can. And I was like, please don't get cancelled before I come. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> ah, shit. Ah, no, you said, thank you so much, out, man. man. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, man. How long, how long was this app? That's very long. Uh, two, hours. two hours. Two hours. I think two hours. hours. We're looking at yeah, two, two hours. hours. Yeah. Two hours, man. Cut it, cut it, cut it to forty-five. Oh, cut shit here. Yeah, uh, we don't cut shit here. Hey, we don't, we don't. This is not the puzzle mountain. <laughs> cut shit here. Let's cut that up for five. Think about it. Close, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Cut that up for five. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do. Just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? 
Parama Chilla, it lesha the figi. Ungo yig, even if when they ask you, how sabi in, do not fear. For if you do, I say, Anistidi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast 